Ray's You Know What Do podcast on Riotcast.com. Alright. We should have done this before. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we were sitting here for 20 minutes. What's that? You know, checking with the headphones, dude. The volume. Yeah. No, I like to do it on the air. I like to see people see it behind the scenes a little. Make it dirty. I like it dirty. <laughs> the fuck, Jim? Suck my <laughs> okay, dick. Fuck your fucking wrong. raspy, <laughs> fucking cocksucking voice. Uh, here you go. <laughs> I should you know everything about me. Um, yeah, we are here. Lauren is fucking uh, sick with uh, Dave Smith AIDS. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what she's got. She's uh, she's feeling sick. She's got the flu, which I didn't know you could get the flu in September. I guess, you know, your flu is like, I, I always thought it flu was... February. Yeah, like... Yeah, it's like January, February. Yeah, yeah it right? could still be around. I mean, it's germs, so... Yeah. It might not even be the flu. What do you think it is? It's you know you could just be fucking sick. Gas digital and people bro. say it's the flow. Gas digital's uh, staking their claim, I think. On Lauren? You think? Yeah, I think they're trying to take <laughs> little pieces away. You know, the, what's this guy's name? He'll be working over there soon. They're gonna uh, Zach. Is that Zach? Zach, you going over there? Never. What? How do you like that now? You fucking troublemaker. I'm wrong. Sorry. You really like to just cause trouble. I don't uh, know. In the house, Andrew Schultz. Now, Hi. how do you say your last name? People you got say, it right. Yeah, but some people say it different. Yeah, they say Schultz, right? Yeah, why Schultz? Why is no that? No T. Schultz. It's Schultz. It's Schultz because I, I guess in Germany the Z is like a T-Z sound. Right. Right. But, it, you know, we're in America, so I'm fine with you pronouncing it Schultz. Right, Schultz. You know, I really don't give a fuck. This only became a thing with, like, the internet. Is it? Yeah, because before that it didn't really matter how your name was spelled, right? It's just like, it's not like you're looking anybody's name up. But now you Google, now you right. Twitter, now you, you see Instagram. It. Oh, you see it. It's had all I, over the fucking exactly. place. Exactly. So had I known this, I would have put a T in there. Right? Why don't we put one in now? Eh, you know. Sure. Why don't we put two? Let's put three Dude, T's. Three T's might be the way. Schultz. Schultz. Uh, he's back on the show. Last yeah. time you were on the show, this fucking guy. What happened? <laughs> you know what happened. I don't remember what happened. You fucking Was this with up. Wait, was this with uh, the guys? With the guys. And you made me text Captain America. Oh, did he ever text you back? Yeah. He did. What did he say? I fucked it up again. Because <laughs> I wasn't there. Yes. So I do this thing. Jim Florentine's in the house, who you have never, you've never been on, right? You never invited me. Really? Yeah. Why would that be the case? I don't know. Is that I heard true? rumors. What was a rumor? I'm not saying. Well, you could say. I invited you twice on mine. I don't even have comics on. Whoa. That's a diss. What, what, I know. What, what did I? What did I not? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> no, usually I, I got my kid these nights, so it's tough for me to do it. But you know, I've invited you on my show before. No, yeah, you've said course. no to me a bunch of times. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. That's, that's why. why. I got my own <laughs> podcast on Riotcast. Why do I got to do Roberts? Facts. Well, it's true. I fucking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he's doing, not doing mine. Like, yeah, yeah. So sick of doing people's podcasts. Will you do my pod? No. It's like doing shitty rooms <laughs> in L.A. Hey, dude, you show up for L.A. to fucking hang out because you got to. Nice part in something, and then all of a sudden you're on every fucking shit room at a donut shop with yep. fucking five people that are fa- We're big fans, are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is just... there a room that's bad for comedy? In just in general, like any room, people will make into a comedy show. I don't. I mean, I've done them all, and I think that if you go in and you do well, you you don't give a shit. Like, yeah, if you do shitty, you're like, why would anybody do a comedy show in a, a, a laundry mat? Yeah, but if you do good, you're like, oh, I'm fucking great. Yeah, yeah, I can do comedy at a. I did comedy at a library. Remember the library one they had down yeah. here, over no. in, in Soho. No, Ugh. no. Jim, who was it? Joe DeRosa. Joey Rose has called me up. Dude, you want to do my show at the library? It was a fucking library. I thought it was the name of the gig. It was a fucking it was <laughs> so, books everywhere. You know, how intimidating is me to do my act in front of books. Yeah, isn't there one at a, a barber shop too? Yeah, they, they get do shows anywhere. I know in a city somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but but if you do if you do well in a shitty room, I don't know what that means. That means you know what I mean. Like it just, just means you're funny. You know, I guess. Yeah. Right. I don't know if you're doing like a you know a, bar, a shitty bar show. It's just like you're kind of like catering to the audience. Like if they get it, and you just kind of fucking are you pandering dumb it you're down. Saying? You're yeah. kind of pandering to them just to just to get through it. Is it weird that like I don't know. I don't know. I mean, sometimes I feel old when I say when I say these things, but like I never really 
dream to do comedy in these types of places when I was coming up. Like, I just wanted to do clubs. Were you Al Pacino? No, but I'd see, I, I did. I never dreamed to do comedy in these places. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it, it was, it, I mean, it's cool, I think, that people are putting comedy shows wherever they can to get stage time, et cetera, but I, I was never like, oh, man, I can't wait to perform at the... I think it's, I, look, I think it was, it's a, it's a new guy thing. It's not, but I, I, I think that... Uh, that's where alternative comic came from. Is where alternative venues. We right. talked about this before. It's, it's not that they're doing any different comedy. It's that they can't do comedy at the comedy cellar. Right. You know. So they were like, all right, let's just go to this fucking muffin shop. My friend. Owns. Love it. You know. And yeah. And they do a stage, and people go up and do it. I, I don't yeah. know. I've done some weird, weird shows. Yeah. Yeah. This, and it, we started. There was VFW halls, firehouses, yeah. and also sports bars, and then yeah. strip clubs. It was strip clubs. We did comedy. Yeah, at I too, did the so. bill. Me, Patrice, Burr, and Dane used to do five-minute spots at the Bill Rick and 99s, and we got paid in cheese and crackers. What's that? It's just a, a shit bar oh, okay. chain. Right, right, right. You know, where they have, you know, they have a dart bar. We used to play darts Yeah. while we were waiting to go on, <laughs> yeah, yeah. get cheese and crackers. There was a stage. It was like three feet by three feet by three feet. Like, you had to, like, help each other up onto this fucking stage. It was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. And there was just, like, five drunk motherfuckers at a bar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the bartender hated you. One just... time I did this biker bar down in South Jersey, and um, I got in there, and I'm like, where's the stage? Like, no, it's it's over there, and they were just playing pool. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Go after the pool, game's over. We put a, a piece of sh uh, ply a plywood on top of the pool table. I stood on top of the pool table, and that was the stage <laughs> really? in front of, like, 20 bikers. And I wasn't going to bitch because a biker owned the bar. So I'm like, yeah, all right, that's, that's fine. Stage. Yeah. And then I climbed up on top of the pool table. Jesus Christ. I did a biker bar in in Maine. And the stage was at the door, with the doors to the right of you. Mm. Right. So every time somebody would come in, <laughs> it was just right, right here, like right there. Yeah. Right. So you'd be like, ah, that, that, and some of the door would open. Where's fucking Wendy? <laughs> you know? Wee! Uh. Who's this fucking queer? <laughs> and then, you know, and then, but I think that shit makes you stronger, way stronger, because these guys who are doing these, the shit rooms. I'm not saying these other rooms that are catered. Where it's, you know... Yeah, you're talking about the tough, the challenging ones, yeah. I mean, some of these rooms that they go to, they're catered to laugh. They they listen, they laugh, they they don't, you know, they're like introspective and quiet. There's an ideology to the room. Good word. You know what I'm... But you know what I'm saying, right? Yes. It's like, we laugh at these types of things. Yes. And if you hit that button, we will respond with laughter. Right. But if you have six people from North Dakota that just happen to walk down to a basement at yeah. the Village Lantern... It's a tougher room to yeah. get people together and laugh at. Yeah, yeah, that That's room. That's where is, we came up. Yeah, know? Boston Comedy Club was a yeah. motherfucker. That I remember was it, was toughest a, room it was a big ever, deal. That I remember it was a big deal when we got you to come do a uh, do our show at the at the Village uh, Lantern. Oh, I remember that. I was it walking was a, by. Yeah. Well, we asked you. I think we might have even booked you. Where we had this show we were doing to stretch out, and we we're like, yeah. I think Khalees kind of roped you in to do it. She did. And I had to follow you, and I ate my balls. <laughs> it was good, but it was really good. It was it's like, good. A, yeah, it was one of those experiences <laughs> yeah. where you know when you're going up with people that are kind of on your level, it's you know it's not that hard to maybe follow or whatever. Yeah. But it was one of those experiences where like I went up and I was like, oh wow, like there's another level, yeah, of jokes I have to to get to. Yeah, that was like the Boston Comedy Club. That was the same shit because you were following Brewer, Chappelle in their prime. Yeah. Remember that shit? Oh, yeah. Dane, Louis C.K., Patel yep. was in there. It was brutal. Ke you know, Keith. Kev. Kev. Patrice. Burr. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the best. You guys had, like, a great class. That's the thing. You guys a had, a, like, a, you know when they talk about, like, mm. draft classes in yeah. the NBA? Like, that class was exceptional. Because all of those guys are around the same age, right? Yeah. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But they uh, that was that was a tough room that Boston Comedy Club. <sighs> yeah, it was. Man, you walk was, in. What was it called? Comedy Village. When I was when I first started. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, I remember walking in and seeing Jay Moore on stage, just fucking brutalizing the crowd. <laughs> I mean, oh, the fucking. And then all of a sudden, like, 
you'd see Brewer waiting to go on, and you're like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. And then he'd go up and just fucking bash. Yeah. And you're like, I don't even want to fucking go on. I don't want to be, I want to go home. Yeah. No, I, I know there was killers, and there was a comedy team called Red Johnny and the Round Guy. I was talking about those today. That when, were on, and with murder. They'd go on together? Go on together. Group? They were a comedy yeah. team, and fucking, and the Sklar brothers, I think, were going, maybe a little later, but Red Johnny and the Round Guy were these two white dudes with yeah. fucking murder. Did you bring up, up Red Johnny and the Round Guy and the Scalar Brothers? <laughs> yeah, why? The fucking Scalar Brothers never murdered. No? No. <laughs> no. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm, I like the Scalar Brothers. They're right. nice guys. He puts them real like thought Because I'm, I'm like, wait a minute. Did I, I'm, I'm trying to think of them on stage. and The twins? Yeah, the twins. Why did you ever see twins kill? Stop it, Jim. The All Menendez right, brothers. Yeah. But um, psh, I'll take look, the towel. No, I'm saying, okay. look, I think the, they're they're good guys. They're funny, but they weren't Red Johnny. And well, I'm right. talking. Right. I'm talking. They did well. Right. But I'm talking. I'm talking fucking murder. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't put you don't put fucking the Scalar brothers with fucking Brewer, Chappelle, right. Red Johnny, and the Round guy. They would come in and and like these guys would murder, and then they would go up and do something else. Like something else. What happened to these guys? One's I don't know. What happens to every group? Yeah. One I know. one suicide. Just they like real- the jerky boys, all, they don't talk to each other anymore. Yeah, they it's realize only two of them. They realize nobody's gonna nobody's writing a fucking sitcom with about Johnny and the Round Guy. Yeah, two guys. I don't know. They were fu- I mean, Jesus, they made money. Colleges, gigs. Yeah. Back in the the late nineties. Yeah. Boof. Dude, they were making fucking. Money. Yeah, they hit the college circuit with their acting. I mean, back in the day, as a comic. You can make sick cash at colleges. Still we're, now. You, not us. We're fucking old men. That's we right. Talk, that's super. Yeah, we, yeah, 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 yeah. That's super. You, you, but you're, All the Instagram but stars and shit make But money. you're very. Here's what, what's yeah. good about you. Okay. Is that you can get away with your act. Because your act is sexual and sure, very, sure. you know, alpha and, you know, confident. And, you know, you, you like, uh, you know, I would say me, you know. You sure. talk about stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You. you you can get away with that stuff because these girls, they like you. But if you go, it's creepy, you think. Well, if I go and I'm a chubby bald guy talking about fucking get laid or whatever. I remember one time I did a show at a college and I said faggy. Not and even faggy. At- faggy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I got cussed out after the show. Yeah. By this girl. And yeah. she was like, you, you, you offended a lot of people. Yeah. And I was like, I go, wait a minute. Was Dane here last week? Yeah. They were like, yeah. I was yeah. like. His last bit is, you're a faggot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, yeah, but when he says it, I said, I said faggy. Yeah. She's like, it's different. And you I was like, hit that T. it's fucking different, man. Yeah. It's different. But it's weird because when those people are in your environment, they react with laughter. At the college, it might be weird for them, but if they're at the cellar, all of a sudden they're laughing. They're yeah, not be- offended. That's why, like, if you like, if you go, I love when they say this is an R-rated show, adults only, before yeah. my show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's like the nasty show in, uh, you know, Montreal. They just put them in a psychological. They prefer, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah, like, yeah, all right, we're to dirty stuff, yeah, and yeah. it's not even really that dirty. The nasty show is not disgusting, right? No, it's not like fucking, you know, Def Jam. <laughs> it's just regular horse shit, you know. Lenny Marcus is in the house. Hey. Hello, sorry. I- Lenny's still, you There's know. There's always something weird happening down at the cellar. Lenny's know. still trying to get over to Giant Loss last oh, night. Oh, God. What happened with the Giants? <laughs> they got murdered again. They're all they two. Did? Season's over. Kind of. They're murdered. It's it's done? No, no, no. I mean, there's a long way to go in the season. There's 14 games, but Jim's but they theoretically suck. right. They yeah. suck, and it doesn't look like it's going to get better. Really? So. Yep. And there was high hopes this year. That's why. What's so happening with the Pants? They're still great. I know. Brady had the best. Oh, you know. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I know. Oh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> he suckers me in every time. Um, we're just talking about uh, uh, colleges and shit. Oh, I, I want to get back to this before we get into this. The last time I was, I had fucking Andrew on my show. Mm-hmm. This fuck. <laughs> I tell him. Karma. Uh, Chris Evans. I met at a the actor. comics come home. The actor plays yeah. Captain America. So we actually wind up. You know, I'm like, dude. I, I he gave me his number, we, and I, I sent him a text that night. And people don't text him. It was like it was like dating somebody. It's like, dude, don't text him. Wait. I'm like, but I'm a guy. I don't. I'm a. Fr- he's a guy. I'm a. Fr- yeah. You're not trying he's, to fuck. Yeah. He's like, so I sent him a t- nice meeting, and I I didn't. I forgot to put you, so I never heard back from him. 
Because you can't send another text from no. you. Why? Because then so, two, two are going to pop off. He's like, are so you fucking I, kidding me? What did I tell you? you know he's what Captain I mean? America. He'll forgive you. But he's like, he should have fucking thought this out and right. you know, no, double checked true. it before he sent it out. That's I'm true. not, yeah, I'm not then, his friend down the, yeah. down the yeah. street. Could exactly. Be. exactly. And the next day, he probably woke up, not as buzzed. Who's this? <laughs> right? And then, so he's this, this, this motherfucker's on my show. And uh, uh -oh. you still have the text? Of course I do. <laughs> I think I deleted it. He busted his balls about this? No, I I think I gave him a, like sound advice no. to reach out to. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I feel like this is. Good for you, Andrew. He, he said to me, he, I don't have the text. I deleted it because it was so painful. He said to me, <laughs> uh, text him, fuck you right now. What? I, I go, what? That's your advice? He goes, <laughs> he goes. <laughs> there might be goes, logic. Hold on. Let's he goes, listen to text this. him, yeah. fuck you. That's what yeah. you need to do. I go, yeah. you're. Are you crazy? I, 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 I'm not texting him. He's like, if you want to talk to him again, text him, fuck you. Right now. Please God tell me you text him only fuck. So, I, <laughs> <laughs> so this guy, I mean, you know, look. Wait, was, but how long after your, your first text? Before? This is months. Okay, all right. So it wasn't like the next months. day, like you didn't return it. So. Uh, all right. So he goes. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking, but he's got so much confidence. And, yeah. And so, you know, you, and he's got charisma. So I'm, yeah, you, you, you know. listen to him. So I, I, I did. I, what? I, so I type, I type, I type, fuck you. And then he, and I type it. I hit send. He goes, now wait, 20 minutes. Right. I'm like, oh God, this is terrible. I mean, not that I'm ever going to have a chance. I know it's unrealistic. I know. I'm but, not going to have a chance for but, what? Friendship. friendship. Yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, definitely not to be in the fucking Infinity Wars. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, 20 minutes go by. He looks at me and goes, text him. Oh, sorry. Sorry, bro. Wrong number. How you doing? I text him. Sorry, bro. Wrong number. How you doing? And I, and nothing, we're nothing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I go home that night. Bling, Ding. bling, bling, bling. Hey, bro. Oh, cool, man. LOL. Laugh. Thought it was funny. How you doing? And of course, I took it too far again. What? <laughs> I should have called Andrew. Right you should have called me immediately. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's fucked up? What you never you told me that he write, that he texted you. Uh, what did Not you, until wait. now did I find out I was right. Hold on. What did you write back the second time? Did you please I, tell I, me you double checked that and at I least spelled it, it right? I think I fucked it up. I, I don't. I deleted. <laughs> Can it I get something. in the Infinity Wars? <laughs> yeah. I. Dude, no, hold on. So wait. So he texts you back. You guys have a little convo and everything's good. What? <laughs> Let's we'll see if I can find it. I wish I could find it. I text him back. I text him back. Hey, where you at? Oh, I'm in Atlanta filming. And I'm and I'm like, oh, and I, I was like, you coming to JFL? No. Oh, here it is. I, um, I text him. <laughs> oh, it's painful. I love I, it. It's so bad. I, I wish I could it. find go, it. Go, go, go. Just say it. Just say it. I don't remember it totally, but it was Like, I texted him something about comics come home yeah oh and then but and then uh i i text he i texted the lineup yeah and he was like wow sounds like a killer lineup but i had texted something like something else about coming to see my i don't know it, was, it just got i confused the text yeah so now it was like i would have to call him and say oh dude i didn't mean that i meant this <laughs> right i so i just let it die i let it die on a vine <laughs> I'm out. I'll never see him again. But you did have that conversation. He did remember you. That's important. He knew who you were. He did, which is important. But then I saw him at like Dane's party. I talked about this. I saw him at Dane's oh, party. Oh, you saw him again? Oh. No, he was at Dane's party for a, you know. A, but you a, saw him? On Instagram. I wasn't there. I haven't talked to Dane oh. in a while. Oh. Okay, so he's at Dane's party. So what party. happened? Did he you stalking this guy now? You like the picture? Well, no, I'm talking to him because he won't respond. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't like the picture. Oh my God. Let's call him. I no. almost feel bad Let's call for him you. right no. now. Let's call him right I'm now. Not calling him. Give me his He's number. He's filming. <laughs> give, watch. He's I filming. end up in Infinity Wars. Yeah. Uh, give, give me his you number. Could. Yeah. No, you're not I calling call him. him. No. No. I'm not doing it. I'm call. I'll just call him. No. I'll be like, hey, I, hey, what's up? This is this is Bobby's assistant. Yeah. And <laughs> he's gonna watch the video yeah. and realize that he's not my assistant. <laughs> but he won't watch the video. I'll be like, hey, this is Bobby's assistant. Um. Look, yeah, my he's sister got... doesn't talk like that. Listen, it's a new. I'm just well, filling come in. Up with a character. I'm filling in I for like Bobby. Okay. You're an actor. Okay. Come up with a character. Okay. 
Uh, hey, boss. No, what is it, Boston? Vice- I'm from Boston or something. No, first no, of okay. all, I, that's disrespectful to him. He's from Boston. He's too. from Boston too. Yeah, okay, so, so it's what. So, hey, how you doing? No, 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 hey, we're in New York. Look, my, I got I'm my really sister. good. It's up. No, hey, no. hey, my sister has red hair. No, I got my. <laughs> I don't know how do you got. I get a of... fucking sweat hog for an assistant. <laughs> I say let Jim okay. do it with that voice. I call or Jim calls, but this is what happens. It goes, hey, how you doing, buddy? Well, it's Bobby's assistant. Sorry, it's been a while since I've reached out. I know I reached out. What just, I- just go with it. I know we've been trying to get you on the podcast. What? We haven't. Can you let the lie right. build? All right, let the lie build. Okay. okay, okay. So I, I know it's been a while. We've been trying to get you on a podcast, Chrissy. So Chrissy, Chrissy, Chrissy no, you get call. no, your buddies, your buddy, Chrissy, Chrissy, no, I'm calling him Chrissy. Chrissy. I'm calling him Chrissy. Chrissy, listen, you're trying we're to so fucking sorry. steal my friend. Chrissy. You're trying to steal Chrissy I'm not from trying me. To, I don't want to be his friend. You're trying to take. I him don't from like me. him. You okay? don't like him. I mean, he's a nice guy. He seems like a nice guy. He's, he's a nice guy. He's not my favorite Avenger, but a nice guy. Oh, my God. Captain not my America? Favorite. Who's your favorite Avenger? I mean, obviously. Come on. Who? Come on. Robert Downey Jr. Uh, why Iron Man. You, why did you just turn into a Yenta? Yeah. I, <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. is the, he's the greatest Avenger. Come on. It's Robert Downey Jr. He's got the money. He, he, know, you know. he likes diamonds. He's, he's, a, he's a diamond guy. Okay. But you, you don't like Avengers, do you? No. <laughs> no, I like real life stuff. I don't. Yeah. Like, what, what do you mean? Yay, it's... Jim! <laughs> Captain America, right? Real life I can't too. suspend disbelief. Yeah. What are you talking? No, about? that's a good point. I can't. He's yeah, not I can't, twelve I, years I'm, old. I can't suspend disbelief. And you just can't go, this enjoy isn't... it if you can't. Uh, yeah, I if can't. You can't get into the world. Right, but, but yeah. it's not making fun of it. I just no. it just doesn't work for me. Like so. when pe- I like that response because when because I'm not a big comic book guy, but like um, sometimes I feel that way about comedy. You ever watch comedy and you're like. Like a bad bad comedy, it's like I I I know that this interaction is fake, so I can't get behind this. Yeah, laugh. absolutely. Okay. So I'm with you on that. I yeah. have to be able to get into the show, get lost. Uh, in the yeah, show. yeah. I am not not paying attention. I'm trying to get. Look, see if I, I would just him. call this guy. Hey, Robert, this is uh, Bob Kelly's assistant. If you're ever in New York, he'd love you to do his podcast. If you want to check it out, it's on Riotcast.com. But you can only listen to the last 15 because <laughs> he's got a paywall that nobody pays for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what the fuck? I got uh, people on my paywall. I, I know, know you're going to say, but not this episode. <laughs> I know. I saw you, Jack. These thoughts have been brought to you by Kevin Brennan. Uh, <laughs> I think I can't find it. I deleted the text. I think you call him. I'm not just, calling. I call him and He's I just say this. Infinity War. I say, I say, Christopher. I go, Christopher. I thought he was Chrissy. Uh, you started Christopher. Christopher, listen, we've been meaning <laughs> to get you on the podcast. Bobby's really sorry. How about this? Next time you're in New York, you're too alpha for my assistant. Okay. I need you to be a little more femme. Okay, okay. A little um, more New York. Okay. Uh, hello, Mr. What's his last I'll, name? Uh, can you be Chris for a second? Evans. Evans. Just yeah. be okay. Chris Evans. Right. Answer the phone. Ring. Okay. <laughs> yeah, who's this? Hey, hey, um, this is. What's uh, wrong with your voice? Oh, well, I, yeah, I just had a really. Uh, I was bullied a lot, but. So, so what, what I wanted to tell you is I'm Bobby's assistant, and, uh, you know, Bobby Kelly, you guys had that little rendezvous at, at the comics come home. You guys no, rendezvoused? Uh, who, who, which guy was that? Do you remember the that? rendezvous? Which guy was that? He's a very handsome guy. So, you know, he's great forearms. There you was know, like he's... nine comics on that show, though. Oh, you would remember Bobby. I mean, he's just so charming, and he's he's got hairless. He's, a, he's got bald. alopecia. He's oh, he's bald. He's bald. He's hairless. bald. Yeah. Oh, the bald guy. The yeah, bald guy, yeah. yeah. That really annoying funny. guy that came up to you after the show and wanted my number. I really didn't no, want to no. give it, but he put me on the spot. That he guy. gave me his number. Yeah, yeah, Fuck that you. guy. Yeah, that guy. He yeah, gave me that guy. Yeah, yeah. Bobby yeah. can be Listen, like that. Yeah. Chris, yeah, let, like, us, let us have it. Let us have it. Wait a minute. I'm so not going to let you read my history. Bobby can be like that. It's okay. It's totally fine. But uh, so we were wondering. I know. I remember Bobby me? said something about me. Bobby said something about how he, you really wanted to get into podcasts, and we were definitely uh, down to no, have you on. I, you know, I was just making conversation with him. He wouldn't leave me alone. Okay. Well, now so. that you've get, confirmed that you're into it, I think it'd be good if we just have you on to on the Riotcast. What is Riotcast? Well, R- Riotcast oh, is a podcast system with I'm a doing a hundred million dollar movie right now. I don't know what Riotcast. <laughs> hundred million. Is. You can afford the paywall. Dummy, How much billion. is the paywall? <laughs> it's a billion. Okay, a billion. Yeah, it's I don't a know. billion dollar movie. Yeah. How much is the paywall? I'll pay that. Okay, no, it makes a dollar ninety nine a month. It's a dollar ninety nine a month. That's a deal. To not come, so you just you could that's you have a choice. You can pay a dollar ninety nine a month. Wait a minute, wait till not I just pay a dollar ninety nine and not come, yeah, and then I have to get tough on. <laughs> Give us the fucking money, Chris. <laughs> Give us the fucking money. Uh, hey, how about this? If I'm ever in New York, yeah. I'll I'll do his podcast. Great. Well, let's confirm it now. 
I said if I'm ever in New York, I don't know my. Yeah, schedule. maybe you'll come to New York next maybe, month. Yeah. yeah, so that's good. How, we'll I'll get in contact with you. Leave your number. Can you yeah. bring? Can you bring the other superheroes with you to the yeah. show? Yeah, yeah, we'll do bring them all. <laughs> Thanks. That's my assistant's voice. <laughs> that's the, that's the way better assistant. That's, that's, way that's, better assistant. The, that's the assistant's can voice. Bring the can you bring the other assistants too, Christopher? <laughs> superheroes. Superheroes. He said. He said. <laughs> that would be great if they brought all assistants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, well, yeah. So that's the voice you're gonna use. I guess. <laughs> but you are the type of guy. You, I'm not this guy. Which is I, I, I don't know what it is, but you're the type of guy that could. If you met Chris Evans, you'd fucking hang all night with him, have a fucking story the next day. You know what? I, I wish. I'm glad you see me like that. But a lot of times, uh, it's hard for me to interact with people that I I kind of want something from. Like if he was in a field where I didn't want anything from it, like yeah. if he's like a, like a musician where yeah. like there's nothing you could do for me or anything like that, yeah. like. I could be completely cool, honest, whatever. But since he's an actor, I don't want him to think that I want something from him, right. and that will get in my own head. Right. You know, so it's just weird, and I'd rather not. Yeah. yeah. It's a. What about you? You can, of course, you hang out with your fucking idols. Yeah, but I. Yeah, I, but I know not to go. You know, what was that? That one song you wrote or whatever? If I need him. <laughs> like I was just at the garden at a show, and I was hanging out with some of the dudes backstage, and I was just yeah. rapping with them, just about you know New York and all that stuff. Who? And, who are you? Who'd you see? Uh, Scorpions and Megadeth. Yeah. Yeah, but I could talk to them. They're 95. I could talk to those guys. Right, but you just hang with them and just, you know, whatever. One of the guys came to my show the night before right. and all that shit. So it was, you know. You, so you're friends with the lead singer of Scorpions, the Scorpions. No, not Ronnie them. James those, those guys Is are Ronnie Germans. Is Ronnie James Dio a fucking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, yeah they live in Germany. Is he still alive? <laughs> Ronnie James Dio passed away like He's dead. six years ago. <laughs> he yeah. Did really? I did Jesus. know him, though, for a little bit. But Megadeth, oh, wow. the guys you know. Yeah, I know the guys. I went on tour with those guys, so I know them. You would open for them. Like, yeah. I, like Gully, Sully. Brutal. It's a good story. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. What do you mean you opened for them? Yeah, yeah, he opened for Megadeth. I opened stand up before. Before who? Megadeth, Anthrax, and Slayer. Why? Like yeah. fourteen thousand people. Tell a me night. how much. Did, tell what me it was good money. A grand do? a night. I got what? It. Honestly, but I, I did like, I did like thirty-five. Yeah. Dates. I want to pay you a grand a night just to perform in my backyard by yourself for my <laughs> wife and my. <laughs> He'd kid. do I'll better. Do it. He would do <laughs> it. <laughs> I would. It's an easier crowd. But right? from yeah. a, from it would my... only be three bottles getting thrown. Fourteen thousand. That's so funny. Now when you go to games, you understand why they take the tops off. Yeah, I know. Oh, this makes perfect sense. Yeah, always. Yeah. So yeah, you have to do it from the pirate ship though. <laughs> Whatever. Hold on. So so you're up in front of fourteen thousand people. Is everybody seated and waiting, or are people still trickling in? in? Um. Oh, I had to do three different Wait a sets. Who's what the who, fuck? Who, who's seated? It's not Celine Dion concert. It's Megadeth. They're not well, yeah, that's right. The, the oh, yeah, they're standing be. on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the floor, seating. they're standing. It's extra death. So there's probably like 6,000 on the floor, and the rest are sit sitting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. those fucking people. <laughs> Some mosh pits. So you're yeah. doing, okay. Oh, it's, my God. So wait a minute. So you're. <laughs> this is crazy what, to me. Dude, go, you go, are go. a fucking. Let me tell you about He's you. the best. You're the, you're the most fearless. Fearless. Cunt I know. Have I don't you ever, give a fuck. I know you do. Well. I know. I know. Yeah. Have you ever done well? It's Did incredible. you ever kill? Yeah. And then I felt bad because I'm like, if I'm killing for. This isn't good. This, I don't like. I, I felt bad that I was killing that I figured it out because I'm like, this is. Wait a minute. This Whoa. is not helping my comedy at all. What do you mean? What, you, what do you mean? What does that mean? What do you mean? Because I'm. I'm just. It's like crowd control. I, I said it's like emceeing a rape. Is what I had to do. Jesus I had to keep everything fucking together. You know what I mean? Trying to get, I got people screaming this going oh on. The fucking God. guy behind me warming up, ba boom boom on the guitar. I'm trying to tell jokes. Warming up. Well, you know, like the the roadies are get tuning the guitar, <laughs> yeah, so I had some of that shit going on. So, how, so you you but you tune out. What you have to do is just go out there, tune out fucking everybody, Bro, yep. and go. You're doing. I'm doing this set yeah. for this long. And getting the fuck out. Yeah, well, I had to do three five-minute sets in between each band. Are you fucking Dude, me? Yeah. I complain about checks. Yeah. I'm like, why would they drop checks during the show? Yeah. I complain about a fucking <laughs> hot chicks with their phones on their faces <laughs> during my last five minutes of my show. But you they know what? They couldn't make it to an hour. <laughs> they literally had to tap out five minutes left. And just go, I have to check my Twitter. This guy's boring. The fuck. I get it. We're old. You have a kid. Fucking, <laughs> you're fat. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, so tell me the time you killed. Wait, Did, I want to well, hear your intro. This next rape coming to the stage. No, well, when the first band went on at like 7 o'clock, there's, I... there's only like 2,000 people in the venue. Yeah. So it was great. They were all listening. Yeah. Nobody was heckling. Right. You know what I mean? So they were fine. The second time, an hour later, when the second band's going on, 
I, actually, I, I said, let me go on right after the first band. So, you know, that 45 minutes in between the setting up the second band was going to be too much. So I said, let me just go on right before the first band, and then right after their 40 minute set. Mm. So I did two quick sets and it was fine. But then I went on right before the headliner Slayer, like a, an hour and a half into the show. Now the venue's got 14,000 people in it. Yeah. And most of them didn't even see me from before. And the, the last set I had to do, I couldn't even do it on the main stage because there was a, they had such a big stage show. They had a curtain covering the whole stage. So I had to do it from the soundboard in the middle of the venue. <laughs> My last set. So they had a, all of a sudden they had, had a spotlight on me. I'm like, hey, you guys what? doing them over here now? And then the, everyone had to turn around and go, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> now we got to turn around Jesus and hear your Christ. dick jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but were you were you doing the typical? Because I performed in front of fourteen thousand people at the Garden, after Fish and the uh, the Spin Doctors in front of Fish, and you start doing that. What? You start doing that fucking. Are you guys ready? Oh yeah, d- cheerleading. So yeah, you cheer, you cheerleading. You cheer, yeah, who so, hates hip hop? <laughs> oh, Jesus you know what I mean? So that takes Not 30 Andrew. seconds. <laughs> All lives matter. In that crowd. Fuck it, you Andrew, know what I mean? Yeah. Andrew would have to take a beating on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, what up, everybody? Oh, welcome yeah. to the <laughs> welcome to the comedy section of the show and shit. Yeah. Believe yo, me, yo. if I was doing a hip-hop show, I'd say, who hates heavy metal? Yeah. To get the reaction. But then I'd be right, like, right. the Kanye West, yeah. boo There's another 20 seconds killed. Perfect. <laughs> Beautiful. What? Genius. So it was just cheerleading, drinking, sex. You so know, wait a minute, so you, you'd get a sex. bit off them. When was you, sex? It, no, you're just bits. throwing some sex jokes, some drinking doing, jokes, uh, and drug you're jokes. Fucking banging broads. But you're no, there was but no you, broads. You're getting then jokes wait. off. You actually set them up. Punt, you get yeah, quick. Joke. Within quick. 15 seconds. 15, and wait, 20 boom, seconds. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You also, when you're done, though, when you're after you're closing, do you bring up the band? No, I, I just say Slayer's coming up in a couple minutes. Oh, and then he just eventually. So it's very, it's anticlimactic. So if you go out there... In between, blah, 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 doing that shit. All right, I'll see you guys later. Slayer's coming up in a second. And then you walk off, and then there's a couple minutes, and then... And then they come on, yeah. Really? But, but uh, when, by the time I went on for my last set, I would go on like seven minutes before they were going on. Mm. At like 8.53, i go to 8.58, they would come out at 9. Now the whole band's, the whole crowd's chanting Slayer because they're ready for them to come out. <laughs> and then they fucking hit me with the spotlight back at the soundboard in the middle of the venue. Oh, go, hey, God. how you guys doing? I'm over here. And I'm like, hey, so listen, Slayer's coming up in a few minutes. Like It was by, by my third set, people were like, all right, dude, we get it. You tell all fucking the- jokes. But that's what I was hired to do. Yeah, all these yeah. people know you now, though. No, well, they, yeah, I'd say probably half the venue to three quarter new. But that's that's good for about thirty seconds. Do you get any like tweets or hate tweets from that or anything? This is this was in two thousand ten, so tweets oh, weren't even. There there. And those fucking old metal dudes, they don't they, they don't, don't you know. Yeah, tweet it. yeah they yeah. still have MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. So now, what was your? I want to yeah. know your your worst night. What happened? Well, on the, the first night, night I was in in San Antonio. It was a bunch of Mexicans, and they didn't they didn't know my show. They didn't know that metal show that I was on. <laughs> right. So they didn't know who the fuck I was. So by the third set, it was like seventeen thousand people was sold out. They were throwing beers at me because I would. They thought I was taking time away from the main band. Uh, so I'm at the I'm at the soundboard, and there's fucking beers like f- missiles coming at me, and I'm ducking. I'm moving around, and they was hitting the soundboard. So I was gonna short out the whole board. <laughs> so they're like, get the fuck off. Yeah. So the next night, they're like, look, they were covering the soundboard before I went on. <laughs> Like a tsunami was coming, like five minutes ago, they were telling all because all the families hang out and watch the band there. So they got, got everybody out of the way, out of the way, and they would leave me up there naked. Oh but they God. would cover it with tarps because they're like, we can't but have not fucking... you. You didn't not you. No, I, I'm like, yeah, fuck it. I'm... What, yeah. Did, what did you say when a beer came flying at your I head? didn't say anything. I was just trying yeah. to get through it. When Trump builds that wall, it's never going to hit yeah. me. Yeah, yeah this Fuckers. is pretty Trump. I yeah. would have definitely. Yeah. Oh, believe me, I would have been definitely doing Trump jokes. <laughs> you remember any of the jokes that you did? The ones that killed? The ones that all, the one that always worked. I always, I had this joke that I did when I was, you know, doing comedy maybe five years. I said, uh, uh, you know, I had something about drinking and driving. Hey, you guys be careful tonight if you're going to drink. You know, I got, I watch out for uh, the roadblocks or the spot checks. I go, I got caught, um, I had a spot check last week. The guy's like, the cop's like, you've been drinking? I go, yeah. He goes, are you drunk? I go, do you see a fat chick in my car? <laughs> <laughs> I did that when I was, for, you know, when I was doing comedy. So that was a yeah, joke from like my twenty years Jim ago. Florentine joke. Yeah, and it would kill even yeah. in front of, you know, and that was, and then I'd bring on the band or whatever. Right, so, right. Yeah. right after that joke. Pretty much, that would one that yeah. would usually That's do pretty well. Right. See, I feel like they should let you bring the band on. It, it is no, because there's too much. There's too much time. To if there's, there's some shit going on yeah. before, like maybe the guys are going to be a minute late or whatever, they don't want. They yeah, don't the want ba- a band doesn't just. I don't want to stretch. I never want to fucking stretch. Driving you out. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's not fucking Abba. 
You know, they're all <laughs> fucking waiting. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Meditating the before yeah. they yeah. go on there. There's yeah. a fucking bunch of drug addicts, alcoholics. <laughs> Where's fucking Tommy? I don't know. He was fucking getting hit. You know, and the fucking, this guy's up there getting fucking bottles thrown at his head. Maybe they're in the back just waiting to go on like, this guy's really good, man. I got offered to do another tour like in two months, December, like December through February. What'd for you two say? straight months. I said, no, it's good, really good money. Why? Black Label Society was like the guy from Ozzy's band and oh. this other band, Corrosion Conformity. Why would you turn it down? I'm not going to be on the road for two months. You sleep in a bunk. It's yeah. you know what I mean. Oh, you on sleep a tour on a bus? bus. Oh yeah, you sleep yeah. on a tour bus. Wow. In a bunk with with usually the roadies. Okay. That don't you know? And you have to shower at the venue. You get there in the morning, like eight in the morning. You pull up and there's ten roadies in front of you showering. Was yeah. it better money than last time? Yeah, it's like fifteen hundred a show. Stuff. I know it's pretty good money, but I'm not doing it. Is it? Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, for, for, no, for like for like sixty shows. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, 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 it was fifty five shows. Yeah, that's or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. but by the end of that, you'd be dead. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Bob the Bono's doing that be, now, and I'm not going to be away from my kid that long. Bob, Bob yeah, exactly right. Bob yeah. the Bono's doing Trump in front. There's a guy with a YG or whatever the rapper's name is. You He's might on tour with YG. Yes. His stare because he, he has a song, a called, song called Fuck, Fuck Trump. Trump. So he Bob dresses up as Donald Trump, does the impression. He literally starts the concert, wow. comes out, says, "Hey everybody!" They go cr ballistically. They hate him, right? And then, and fuck then they Donald start. Trump. Yep, three minutes he does, and then boom, starts the song, and he basically chases him off stage, and the place goes absolutely. What's he getting for that? I don't know. Good money, I guess. Speaking probably of, not. Speaking of no? Trump, probably five hundred. Yeah. A show. Yeah. Speaking mm -hmm. of Trump. uh... 300. The, uh, uh, Brooklinen.com. Have you heard of this site? Brooklyn what? Brooklinen. Brooklinen, no. Uh, I mean, I'm not that, was a, that was a good segue. I, this, is for your, this is for your bed. The, the, Brooklinen, and I'm not even joking, I have them. Okay. Okay. That I was a good them. segue, by the way. Thank you. Well, Trump money, Brooklinen. Oh. Save money. Um, I, I have I have these fucking sheets. Are they good? Okay. I, I, you, know when you, you know when you check into a hotel and it's... You know, it's whatever, but then you check into that hotel with the sheets oh, nice. and the bedding. You're like, oh, this is a, this is some other shit. Mm -hmm. That these sheets are like that, like, I can't explain it. It, it. It's an amazing company, and I'm so I'm glad they're a sponsor of my show. Is it the and thread if, count? It's not the thread count. It's it's that that what happens with sheets when you buy because my wife wanted to buy the Egyptian blah 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 right, right, right. seventy million fucking thread. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm not spending fuck. I'm not spending over a thousand dollars. Are you nuts? Dude, they're thousands of dollars these sheets. Yeah, not, not this company. All right, because you, you you spend most of your time in bed. I mean, half the day. Thirty of your life. Thirty of your life in bed. All right. Mm-hmm. And you should fucking be comfortable, right, guys? True. I agree. Yeah, yeah Brooklinen.com. You get high quality sheets and bedding you deserve at a price that won't keep you up all night. Buying great sheets is an easy way to upgrade your life, okay? And here's the deal. The right sheets can make a break, a good night's sleep, and help you feel better during the day and uh, well-rested. These sheets, unbelievable. The sheets make for unbelievable quality. The most high-end bedding is all marked up by what? 300%. Can you believe that? It's three, and that's a fact. Three, yeah, they mark up bedding and all this stuff. So when you go to Macy's or wherever the fuck you go, they mark it the hell up 300% and people pay it because they don't know it or they have the money. Even if you have the money, you're a moron mm. if, you, if you spend it and you don't have to. By the time it reaches you, it's crazy. Brooklyn it makes quality luxury sheets and bedding accessible accessible to everybody. Brooklyn it was founded in, in uh, tw 1920. No, I'm kidding. 2014 by a husband and wife team, which you always know is going to be a good company when a husband and wife was like, you know what? Let's just go do it. <clears throat> let's make the let's do it ourselves. That's why I love now. Because you can just make a company and say, you know what, I want a bag. I go to Kickstarter, make a company, get the money, and sell it. Vicky and Ralph, all right, their philosophy that people deserve simple, beautiful home essentials without luxury prices. Brooklyn and cuts out unnecessary markups and manufacturing waste in order to offer exquisite designs and exceptional savings across their collection. Brooklyn is the fastest growing betting brand in the world. 12,000 five-star reviews. Wow. That's crazy. Perfect. Okay. They have versatile colors, patents, and uh, you can mix and match. Which are yours? Effortlessly. I got white with gray. Okay. I just got straight up white with gray. Mm -hmm. I love a... Isn't that like... I like my bed to feel like heaven. 
My yep. wife likes white sheets. I just go white too. I gotta go white. Right? White sheets, yeah. You gotta go white sheets. It doesn't make sense. I, I think anything else, yeah. Do they have a top sheet? My wife likes top sheets. They, they got every top sheet. Hate top sheet. They got See? everything. You don't like a top sheet? I don't like a top sheet my, at all. My wife awful. has to have a top sheet. Why? It was like one of our first marriage. Like, why? Why do you need a top sheet? Yeah, what's the deal with that? This. Well, you can get a top sheet here. Get at rid of her. bedding. It better get rid of her. <laughs> <laughs> Under Sorry, honey, you're out. You should yeah, put her in the prenup. Top. Yeah, <laughs> top no sheet. top sheet. I should have. Now you want to do? You want to? This, this is a great present. Get the pink linens to give your chick. Mm -hmm. She'd be like, "Hey, I got you these sheets for shits and giggles." Yeah, mm. I spent 150 bucks, 200 bucks on sheets. Do I get a discount through the show? Dude, check this out right Thank now. Thank you. I love Brooklyn and sheets so much. Try these sheets. I know you'll love them too, mm -hmm. and I mean that. Brooklyn, Brooklinen has an exclusive off, offer for just my listeners. $20 off. Wow. And free shipping when you use promo code what, dude, at brooklinen.com. Just go to the website, pick out your sheet. This is what I did. And use the promo code what, dude, what dude. At, when you're checking out. In fact, Brooklyn is so confident that you'll love these sheets. 60-night risk-free guarantee. You can buy them, use them for 60 nights. That that's just crazy with sheets and just return them you have to if wash you don't them. like them. You have to wash them. No, you just send them back. <laughs> if you're a savage, it'd be funny if somebody murdered somebody on them. <laughs> just get them and like these put up a sheets are so absorbent. <laughs> the blood just send just them back. Sort with, of soak like a, right in. It's just like 19 different DNA on it. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't into them. See if they rat you out. See if they <laughs> fucking cops knock on your door. Yeah. Satisfaction is guaranteed. Lifetime warranty on all their sheets and comforter. There's no reason not to do these. Try these sheets right now. You, uh, The only way you get $20 off and free shipping is to use promo code WHATDUDE, brooklinen.com. You got to check them out. Hey, hey, hey. And then nice. I get that. Uh, anyways, um, you have something you're promoting. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, I put together a, a stand-up project. Oh yeah, I heard about this. What do you mean? Yeah, it's pretty cool. what is that? I uh, yeah, I basically I I filmed. Uh, I guess this, the long story short is I filmed. Uh, Colin a, Quinn already did that. <laughs> I filmed and it was it, it was great. It was alright. Uh, well, New York it. Story or Long Story. Short? I thought they were all great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm a big fan of. Colin. I'm a huge fan. Of, I love New York Story. So basically, I, I filmed. A, I I wanted to film a special. I had an idea last year, and basically, what I was going to do is like do an hour over five different clubs and uh, film the cab rides in between and like really do what it is that you know a new york a new york comic what we go through right mm -hmm. to showcase this this life and uh at least for one night showcase this one night so i did it and i cut it it came down to like 50 minutes i tried to sell it to all these networks and i was very humbling experience i figured i was going to sell in a fucking heartbeat and uh because i had some shit going for me at the time you know i'd right. lead a sitcom i had a podcast very popular what was the lead in the sitcom uh benders you know oh yeah yeah and benders had just got on netflix like there was a lot of things the guy who heads netflix the guy brought me to montreal i'm like hey this is who's easy. that oh uh, robbie. robbie yeah yeah robbie yeah Bra. so i'm like love robbie yeah robbie robbie's great doing a great job over there at netflix and um and about i went to other networks and it was like a hold on it was like this and a lot of it was very humbling and i just said you know what i want to put it out i want to put out myself and i want to give it a get not give it away but essentially give it away so i just uh i cut it down to about 17 minutes and i did four clubs four different sets one night and it's uh called 441 and um, I basically put it out on my YouTube and, and I just said, let people share it and watch it. And I think if people share it and watch it enough, I think that um, it's well done. Who did the editing on that? Because I thought it was. Oh, like... yeah. Well, I, I, I teamed up with this production company, Manhattan Production. My brother is also involved. He does all the video good. stuff for really the podcast. Well but like, yes, we so a uh, shout out to Brandon Walsh and Bradley Ross. I don't know. Maybe you might have worked with Brandon before. He knows you well. Or he knows you. Who so, was, was he? Brandon Boston? Walsh. He, he, he might have worked. I think he was actually over there at. Um, What's it called for a while? What is uh, sex and drugs? Um, it, maybe maybe before maybe other projects earlier, but he worked with Serpico. Oh yeah, for a while he was at the office for a while. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But um, he's a he's a big fan of yours. But uh, but yeah. So, I just put it out and I was like, you know, I'm gonna put this thing out and um, it was so crazy, man. Overwhelming response, uh, and I would love for everybody who listens to the show to watch. But what was shocking is, you know, I assume everybody knows me as a stand-up, right? Like, you know, you're on TV shows. You assume that people would know you as a stand-up because that's what you do. These people do not know a lot of times. Yeah, because you done you did MTV shit. I do yeah. MTV. You, I do a you podcast. Sh what's like, the Charlemagne? I do a podcast with Charlemagne God, the brilliant idiot. So what's like, his name? Charlemagne. Martin? Charlemagne the God. What? The God. The God. The God. Yeah. It's that's H -H. fucking it's yeah, 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 yeah. Humble. That's a fucking great nickname. Come on, bro. Confidence all day. You he would have called Chris Evans. <laughs> <laughs> he probably knows him. <laughs> exactly. If you name the God. There yeah. we go. How do you name his did he did he get named that? I think I think it has to do with the five percenter teachings. Like uh, what's that? It's, it's like um 
Five percenters, it's like a black empowerment kind of movement that right. really got popular, I think, in like the 90s. Yeah. And uh, I think, you know, man is part of God or God is in man. So everybody had these names that are like Sypha. Sypha's name for Sypha sounds, you know, Sypha works yeah. here. Sypha comes from that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I uh, want a fucking cool nickname. We're going to get you one. <laughs> Jim, give me a nickname. <laughs> didn't you have one what? when you started? What? You didn't oh, have a name? I had the, the, the rooster. <laughs> what? What? You know the rooster. I was, no. on, I was on Opie and Anthony. <laughs> I did the uh, the rooster. Yeah, this, I brought clips. Of, I brought my clip of uh, me doing stand up. Right to Opie and Anthony one day when I was young, brand new. I think it was the night, the first time my wife ever saw me do stand up. Who's my wife now? Was just a chick I was trying to bang back then. Right. And I had a fucking uh, black t shirt on with the sleeves rolled up. And uh, a flannel with the sleeves cut off, tucked in, just tight jeans. And I would I would go on stage, and I'd be like, "What's up?" <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and they would call me Bob the Rooster Kelly. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would I don't you know. Go? I'd be in a joke and be like, "This chick was fat, and then she did that." <laughs> and it would get a laugh. I don't know why they loved it. And she they, saw that tongue work. I got to marry that dude. I need it. It's a good one. <laughs> I used to go. Skull. I remember one night. This is so fucked up. Dane was on stage, and he's you know five hundred people at Nick's comedy stop. He goes up. He's doing his act. He's like boom bap, and then scoop. And I was like, he just did my fucking skull. <laughs> he just did my shit, and he came off. I'm like, dude, you did my. My school, little, little. He's like, what? I'm like, dude, I'm I'm Bob the Rooster Kelly. What are you doing? <laughs> He's like, dude, I didn't even know. Did I? I'm like, yeah, you want school, little, little. I go, that's my thing. I do. It's a great wrestling name. It's pretty I catchy. I would love to see that fight. What the Bob, Bob the Rooster <laughs> You're Kelly? You're bringing other people. Don't I school little loop? Don't I let it? It's not school little loop. I don't know. My tongue try doesn't it. work. Skull, little, little, little. Skull, little, little, little. Yeah, that's it. That was Skull, good. Little, little, little. That's it. Skull, little, little. I, I'm not quick enough. Your tongue is faster. Skull, little, little, little. That's Skull, pretty little. good. Dude. Anyway, so I got this thing. I got this special, and I, <laughs> there's no school of the loop. And, uh, but uh, I put it out. I call it a comedy experience. It's on my YouTube, youtube.com uh, slash Dandrew Schultz, which is also the Brilliant Idiots YouTube. And, um, the goal is just to, you know, create heat and get heat. You know, like uh, I had, I guess I get let my ego get ahead of me there, but like we still need to prove ourselves constantly in this business. And uh, so my whole thing is, hey, I wanted to get out there, get tons of views, and then I have some product that shows, hey, I know how to do stand up, I know what I'm doing. And well, it, I mean, look, our style of comedy <laughs> right now is not that in, I would say. Yeah. Even, what style is that? Well, you know. I got a kid, I want wife, or women, or girls, or, you know, that type of, you know, white, white guy comedy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> funny comedy. Well, I look, we're, I look, we're all funny, I think. Sure, I, I mean, sure, sure. Everybody yeah. in this room makes me laugh, but I think that, you know, it's funny you say that. It's just like this bit, you get, you get to a point where everything's fucking great, because mm -hmm. you see some people that maintain it. Yep. It is maintainable. Absolutely. And you're like, oh, I'm here. I, I'm here. I got it. Let's just maintain this. Yep. I'm cool. But then you dip. Some people dip. It's part of the business, I think. Well, mostly dip. Yeah. You know, and uh, Patricia used to talk about this. That, that roller coaster ride, you got to dip. You got to make sure that, you know, some people get back. Everybody gets back off the ride and back in line. Yep. Just some people have that VIP Disney pass, and they get to cut the line again and sure. go on the ride quicker. Sure, sure, you sure, know? sure. Yeah, you know, it's it's funny because you were on benders, you had all the shit, and then you would think that everybody would just pick this up. I mean, you're a good looking guy, you fucking, you got a great stage presence, you're very confident. Thank you. And you put this thing out yourself. I thought I I planned for this, by the way. Why? The reason I did it specifically like that is, I thought that I was like, okay, maybe they might, maybe I don't have like the juice. You know, there's some guys who are like industry darlings in the stand up world, and and you know the industry really gets behind them. That's never happened to me. I've I've had a lot of great opportunities maybe outside of stand up. But never like it wasn't like you know these bloggers or anything like that have really kind of gotten behind me. No. And uh, but I was like, you know what? This idea in itself has some equity. Yeah. Like the idea of like showing a New York comic and having the cab rides and all these little things in one night. And um, I was like, surely people who are really into stand up or a network that was really into stand up would love to get a piece of this because it's an interesting experience. Yeah. And um, but just because they said no doesn't mean I shouldn't put it out. 
And my feeling is I've always had to prove myself, whether it was stand-up or anything like that. I've always had to constantly do it. So if I got to prove myself through YouTube and I got to get a bunch of views and people fuck with it, then that's great. And if I get a big number, you know, if I get something, if I get 100,000 is cool, 500,000 would be amazing. If I get a million views on it, that's a different conversation with networks. Now I'm going to networks like, what can you do for me? Because Comedy Central, nobody, a million people are not watching, a million people are not watching their specials. Right. I don't care who it is. They're happy with like 100,000 right. at 12 o'clock at night. Really? Nobody, nobody watches stand-up And stand they also air TV. it once. They air it once. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. It, yeah, they're leveraging, well, right? What is it? What are they doing? What I are don't they know do? what they're doing. They just don't bury the specials, Why? Basically. Why, Why would you know. do that? Do they chop it up and then put it on the serious? No. How are they making it's their really money back? It's really cheap to make yeah. for them. And also, it's a, it's a leverage play, right? So when... Kevin Hart has a new special that comes out or a new movie that comes out. You ever notice that all of a sudden his half hour is on rotation at Comedy yeah. Central? Right? So now you're selling ads on the same piece of... So it's all the about the ad of revenue? Of course. So it's a leverage. So it's like, boom, you could have a show come out, CBS, huge popular show. Guess what's going to get rotated on Comedy uh, Central? Yeah. You know, boom, same thing. So I think that's what the play is. It's a smart play. Hmm. That's not that expensive to do stand-up. Wait, how did you film it at each club? You had cameras there? I had there two and... camera crews flip-flopping. And I just did my actual set that's the thing. I, yeah, so ahead. wait, so you went from one club and you Start got the, the other club and, and the other the camera crew's got to go to the next club. So the camera, yeah. They set up all lights. How did they do that that quick though? So so I had I had two crews. One was at the comic strip and the next one was waiting for me at the cellar. Right? So I do my set at the comic strip. And by the way, they're just set times. They're not like the show is just for me. Yeah. Right? I come and I do my set and I leave, you know. Did I didn't you ask bomb for, on any of them? Um there's ones I didn't do as well. What did you leave that in? Yeah, of course. You did in the in the whole Why version. You turning into a fucking old Jewish guy. Yes, of course. <laughs> hey, I'm 33. What's the with that? Lenny's here. Okay. <laughs> I, I just I don't this know. This is what happens when you don't sell a special. You get a little Jewish. You try to. Yeah. Hey guys, what happened to the tribe? He's like, yeah. this is a good boy right here. <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm a mensch. I mean, <laughs> I is it me or my am, am I hearing it? You know, no, no, uh, so good on He us, does right? every once in a while. But so okay. I like it. So basically, you, I should have had fucking locks and bagels tonight. <laughs> that would have been delicious. Jim would have been like, I don't like them. It's fish on a bagel. For, yeah. He would have just That's eaten yeah. the fish part. You don't eat right? fish for breakfast. No I don't carbs. Care. He's in such good shape. Jews run the business. He is in very good shape. Yeah. Jim's always been in yeah. fucking great shape. Well, I'm single, so you got it. You know what I mean? That's right. You, you can't game. risk it. Oh, I want to yeah. talk about that. So yeah. I'll, I'll, wrap, this. I'll wrap this up. So basically, oh, no, uh, right. we don't have time. So, so yeah, so I basically had two crews, and one crew waited the next one, and then after... I would leave a set. They would go to the the, the third one. So it was a lot of timing involved, and it was some yeah. tricky shit to uh, to make happen. But um, but you but did yeah, it, it yourself. Cool. I did it myself with with help. Obviously, I had guys. Yeah, that, of course, but here's the up. thing: is and I'm 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 telling you right now, I'm starting to I I set my. I've been buying lights. I've been learning lighting. Yep. I, I got cameras. I yep. got microphones. I'm doing this shit on my own. I'm you know, we got to do it. I learned, I'm, I learned that would... shit. You got to do it on your own. The... Because, and you, Lenny, Lenny, who's one of, I mean, you wrote a whole fucking show by yeah. yourself. You got to. We man. did this in 2006 before anybody had a web series. They did it on yep. fucking V. V. We used to go. We had, it was uh, one of those big cameras. Oh, you did like no, We had a big camera, but we had, no, no, no. We had uh, whatever the digital tapes were. Right. Yeah. So we did a web series on digital tape. Yeah. Right as soon as the first editing suite came yeah. out. That you could do with digital. You got to prove yourself, man. It's yeah. like it's like with we it see a horrible. lot of like actors <laughs> get opportunities over and over again, even though shows don't work. Yeah, and we go, why would they keep picking that guy or girl? And it's like because they've proved that they can do the job. Well, I don't think so. There's a little of everything. I think there's a little bit of a culty circle of you're in, and I think that to break through that for people like us, yeah, I've I've had to pick up every rock and look for a fan you know what i mean yeah. where some people just have them come sure yeah. like they're it's almost like they're given a fan there's, base. there's different tribes right like i think there's i think that we have to fight and claw and what's you know, your tribe if you really want to talk about fan base you got to think about yeah. what is the tribe like who are the people that are well i gotta i gotta with you? listen man i got a couple i got ona fans right i got torgasm shit still i mean right. I, I have people this weekend at buffalo when i do a show I have sex and drugs fan from right. the sex and drugs. I have people that so love me on Louie. So you right. get that type of fan. And then I got Opie and Anthony fans, of course, who are probably the biggest one. And then there's people that have been coming to see me since Torgasm. Right. So it's like this. And then there's people that just found me. You got a conglomerate of fans, but there's not like a there's not like a, a, a single thread. thing, a common thread for all of them. And I've noticed that people with big fan bases, 
the majority of their fans are part of a common thread, right? So, like, black people, for example, will put put up one comic that is the black comic. Yeah. And Kevin Hart was that for a minute. Obviously, Rock had his time where he was that. Right. Uh, Epps had his time, probably. Yep. Cat Williams had his time, right? Yeah. So, like, but they will all lift that person up because it's a, a community. And then when they come in town, it's like, yo, Cat's in town. You're black. Well, what are you not doing at the thing? It's almost like being a Giants fan. It's like Giants playing at home. We're going to the they Giants have a, game, They right? have a people. Exactly. Sebastian is that right now for Italians. Italians. Italian people. Boom. Yeah. Jews had that, but now that's slipping. Who who they have back it for? Back in the day, there was millions of well, guys. Like, who was like, like they're talking about in the 50s. Yeah, the, the Borscht oh, Belt Hitler guys, took care you know? of that. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dude, he said millions. I had to do the joke. Uh, I had to make Jim laugh. Sure. He's just sitting there listening. <laughs> but but what, what, what do they got? Um, well, to, but Jim's Nobody an interesting example, Jackie though, Mace. because you actually, you actually have that, I imagine, with your fans. Like you have metal fans. Well, metal yeah, fans well, metal into- fans. But then also you get Opie and Anthony fans. You get Howard Stern fans. Right. So I, I mean, I, Howard, must, Howard must have Howard and, and oh, how did you mix the two? Um, it got to a point when uh, they don't know, care. Yeah. What? No. Yeah. When they didn't care. When yeah. they were fighting back and forth to both shows or whatever, yeah. and there was a lot of tension. You either did one or the other. Right. So I got on Stern. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to stay here. Right. You know, I got a good base here, and then you know you couldn't you couldn't do both shows at that point. Right. So I just stuck with him for a while, and then you know eventually you don't you don't go on as much. He's not on on the air as much, and then I you know I started going to Opie because I was good friends with Jim. We were me and Norton were roommates, so we're always good friends. So I right. went over there, and I started going over there, and they, you know they got younger comedy fans that like that you know the, that audience is will go to comedy clubs. Oh, they're great. Yeah, they support. Yeah, they are. They're great. They do come out, and they're older now. Like when they, you know, fifteen years ago, they were twenty and they were angry, and you know what I mean. Like they, but you know, yeah. now they're, they're thirty-five and they got yeah. a kid and they're married. Got or a union job. So, yeah, yeah. So now they just want to come to. I mean, they're, but they're big comedy fans. But and, our, yeah. but we don't have a people. Like our people would. He's be, closest, I would say. But it, but, but we but he, he has the metal that culture. rock and roll. But shit. I got but I got guys that uh, like heavy metal that come to my shows, but not necessarily comedy fans. So they'll sit in the front in their Iron Maiden T-shirts, yeah, yeah. and they don't really know comedy. They don't get it as well. They yeah. want to yell out like, "Why'd you pick that Iron Maiden record to be the best one? That, yeah. The other one's better." Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, right, "Can we can this wait till after the show?" <laughs> yeah, they you think know, it's the yeah. meet and greet. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, they think it's a meet and greet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I threw that yeah. beer at you in San Antonio. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But I would love a people. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you just love to uh, just, uh, you know? So let's think about it. What's your? What's your I, I would have to be middle-aged fat people. I it, know it's. I know it. But I like. There's none of those. If there was only <laughs> them in America, like where could we find in America? Right. I don't some know. middle-aged fat yeah, but, people. Yeah, but but okay. Yeah. We can find them. But try getting them off the fucking couch on a Friday <laughs> and Saturday night. Those fat fucks. That's a good point. <laughs> It works against us. All your bits are like, don't yeah. you hate leaving the house? And they're like, yeah, yeah that's why we don't go. I yeah. came all the way from New York, and I had to get like two seats on the plane uh, to do it. You can get out of your chair. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, I mean, we, well, we, don't, we don't do have people, a They'll fight. come. You just identify mo- as fat. What? Do people identify as fat? No, you can't because you You're you don't want to. You're embarrassed of it. I, look, there's people I, identify as metalheads. Yes. People identify as black or Italian or Mexican. Yeah. So I think you need to tap into people the identity. Offended. I walk out in Buffalo on stage, it was a Friday night, I go, you guys are all fat. <laughs> like everybody I see, if I'm looking at you, ingratiate you're, the crowd, kids. You're, you're, you're one. Exactly. <laughs> Don't open with maybe you. Maybe that's why my friend Chad didn't get laid open up for you this weekend. <laughs> oh, Chad. Yeah, I like Chad. Yeah, he's a good dude. He's a good dude, man. Very, yeah. very good. The, the only thing I don't like about Chad is we were doing a podcast. Like we were, he was doing mine, and I was doing his, so he could have one. And he he had roast jokes that he had written for me. Oh. And like on the, one of the roasts or something, and he was like trying to get, trying to say them to me, and I'm like, dude, I d- shut the fuck. I don't want to hear mean <laughs> shit from you. You're already in Buffalo. Yeah, it's like yeah. shut the fuck. <laughs> he read like one. I was like, okay. Yeah. He read it. I was like, dude, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna, fuck you. I'm gonna hit you with the lamp if you keep going. <laughs> but uh, no, he was a good guy. Like I <laughs> mean, this kid. Oh god, there's these fucking. I come out after the show. There's these, these guys had to be six three each. And they've just beards and hair and big. Yep, yep. Just big. Mm-hmm. The sweetest guys ever. Yep. Just the, but they're just big guys. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's like two snuffleupaguses. <laughs> <laughs> and that's your audience. And they're like, dude, we're gonna take you for cigars tomorrow. Aww. And I'm, I'm like, really? I, you know, I'm kind of a little scared. But anyways, Chad's like, you know, Chad was like, I'll go. So Chad, me and Chad went. We met him. We smoked these bats with these guys, and then like we're going to get wings. 
And it's like we went and ate, and it's just like, oh, my God. Yeah. And then they're like, we're going to get donuts. <laughs> it's from the movie. And I'm like, we can't. Exactly. It's it was like hanging out with Chubby Checkers. <laughs> and we go get donuts, and the guy's like, yeah, I got diabetes. Let me get that one. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I just, I'm like, guys, we got, I shouldn't be no doing No powder, it. please. I have diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> just a regular donut. We should, I should have took him to the gym. Yeah, I should have, right. we should have, like, I should have did some, <laughs> yeah. something. We should have did something else. At least walk to the donut you, shop. You can't eat healthy in Buffalo. I was there a few weeks ago. You gotta have wings. You gotta no, have wings it's, it's, of buffalo. No, no, no. Like physically, it's hard to eat. Yeah, yeah There's hard. one spot. It's right near the hotel called Rachel's. It's that Mediterranean yeah, spot. Yeah, it's yeah. the only place. It's like a Mediterranean Chipotle. Yeah, right, right. It only was, place. I, I, I asked. This sounds like a fucking joke. Yeah. I, it's not. I, I asked the guy. I was like, hey, where do I get good health food? And the guy yeah. waits a second. He goes, yeah, Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It really is. Go to Toronto. Those guys eat some faggy health food. Yeah, these guys are fucking eating to have fat. They're like ba bears. They just they need some extra fat for this shit winter. It's that's winter's coming. Yeah, unbelievable. Those guys are sweet. I mean, great fans too. But yeah. it's like, Jesus Christ, man. How do you follow up chicken wings with donuts, dude? Yeah. They we did. <laughs> it sounds I, delicious on dude, paper. My feet were wet. I felt wet. My feet felt. <laughs> I was on stage. I was like, I shit yellow immediately. <laughs> like yellow. Like my kidney stopped. Yeah, yeah. It was fucking nuts, dude. Yeah. I went. I I've been working. I came home Sunday. Worked out Monday. Worked I, today. I worked out. I'm like, I'm done. I'm fucking. I'm Are done. you back in the gym? You getting it in? Now? I went and bought uh, adjust these beautiful adjustable dumbbells and a bench and i have a treadmill in click my, in ones the click in ones, yeah. but the high-end ones the good ones okay and uh like I, youtube is the most amazing that's why i'm glad you did this on youtube yeah talking about all this shit anything you want is on youtube you can learn anything i learned the drums on youtube that's it drumming without drums a fucking idiot with a magazine a book and drum yeah. not an idiot great guy Help me fucking yeah. learn how to play drums uh, I learned carpentry off of the fucking internet. I yep. learned gardening. Yep. I learned about bugs. I and I had put this workout. I wrote I wrote literally twelve minute bicep workout. And a fucking dude. <laughs> yep. All right guys, let's go. Yeah, this, yeah. This. <laughs> and then I wrote fucking twelve minute shoulder workout. All right, we're gonna do this. And I just did a fucking, you know, like a half hour buy and try were in my shed. I was like, this fucking is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was dying. But yeah, the buffalo is a nightmare. Nightmare, fucking nightmare. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I, I thank know. you for letting me plug it. I appreciate the. Uh, oh, dude, I'm I'm I glad hope you listen, guys watch it, man. That'd be great. It, and share it too. I was share who, that shit. I was talking to somebody about that. What we have to do at this point, yeah, because they, you know, it's it's almost ridiculous. It's almost crazy. What I don't care any. I just wish we could stop talking about race. Like Morgan Freeman said it the best. Right. I'm not going to call you white and you don't call me black. Right. My name's Morgan. Your ma your name is Chad. Yeah. And can we just go from there? And it's like, yeah. It's yeah. a great fucking way to live. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't care. It's, it has nothing to do with anything. Culturally, we live a little different. Sure. We like different foods and different clothes and yeah. different music. But, but who gives a fuck? I know white people. Hey, just stop it. You know? Because it's like... Us as white guys, we're especially white comedians. I feel like we're sometimes it's like nobody wants to hear from you. We've heard enough out of you, and it's like right. that is so unfair to say I don't to think me. That. You know what? You always say that, but I never think that's true. I think they'll hear from anybody. I mean, when you go downstairs, they're not turning off on you. You know, they don't go ah. I don't want to hear this. Oh, at the well, cellar, you're saying downstairs. I'm not talking yeah. about. I'm We're not talking, talking about. about I, I think you're talking about more like tastemakers and entertainment. Tastemakers and entertainment are just. Exactly what you said before. It's like, how do we generate income? What's hot right now? They don't know what they're doing. Well, yeah, no, and what's still... not what's not hot is you. you. No. Well, being a white dude, yeah, it, it's perceived as maybe not as uh, sexy in, in a stand, or not stand up, but like uh, Hollywood. Yeah. But I think there's numbers to back it up. Like black women, everybody's trying to make shows for black women because they fucking watch, watch television. They're the only ones that are watching as a block. That's yeah. why VH1 is killing it when every other network. Is falling apart. They just keep doing the black chick shows. So I gotta fucking, I gotta get, I want a black chick audience then. 
Get that black no, chick. Gotta, I need a nickname. You need a reality bro, need, show. Rooster, bro. No, the rooster. Bring back bring rooster. Bring the rooster. The back. rooster. You gotta bring the rooster. What's back. up, ladies? I eat that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> if your man ain't going <laughs> on that click, he ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 like. Oh. <laughs> that would kill. You yeah. know the crazy thing though? This this weird is like. <laughs> We have all this opportunity now. The biggest barrier for entry for us, yeah. at least even early, even like ten years ago, for making films or anything like that, was technology. Right? It's like I can't mm. afford a ten thousand dollar camera. I can't afford yeah. a fifty thousand dollar light setup, whatever yeah. like that. Like in this room, yeah. you probably spent maybe what twenty grand on all this whole setup here. Oh, sure. a, a good amount. <laughs> but like, That's you a have a fucking TV studio. I have a TV studio. Yeah. You can create TV yeah. level content. Yeah. In the room, and I and that I, could never be done before. No, because and here's the thing: like I was telling you before, I just, I just, I have my podcast set. I, I've always, technology has always been my fucking thing. Yeah, it's yeah. my dick hard. Yeah, Everybody yeah. knows that. That's your new addiction. It's my old addiction. I've been, I have the first of everything. I always, you know, and my thing is, I always wanted to be able to do my podcast with me and somebody else, just high end audio, and as small as possible. And as I don't want the file to be a massive thing, I want it to be. I email it to fucking bang. It's up and it's up, yep. you know. And I, 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 I finally figured it out. I went to yeah. Sennheiser, Sennheiser, yep. And I bought these new wireless AVX uh, labs, and I went to B and H, your people, yeah, who are the greatest people in <laughs> the world. Amazing. I said, this is what I, I want to do: a podcast on my phone. On a regular, just a, you know. You're like, to do a podcast on the phone. What my, I want to do on my phone. <laughs> Jews so they're, they're closed Thursday and Friday this week? <laughs> That's right. They're closed. Yeah, they are. The people who are closed <laughs> Thursday and <laughs> Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that shit and is next Friday, Saturday. Have you ever Saturday. gone to B&H to get some shit and, and you didn't closed? know it was a Jewish holiday? Uh, it's on the it is 10th an- Avenue. I've, I've done that. that. It's yeah, so like you, annoying. For a like, moment. <laughs> close at four. I didn't. What? It's the sun's still out. The sun's a, and then you're just grabbing any Jewish guy that, that looks like he could have yeah. worked there. Like, dude, what's the deal? Know, what's I, up with it? Oh, I've done it a hundred times. I got these microphones that, that hook up. This guy was like, all right, all you need is you need this wire. You need a, a three cord and a three prong. And yep. he, he goes, boom, push the button. Order. It comes in a box. And I go home. I, I hook two receivers that go into one wire into my phone. I put a lav on you, wireless, a lav on me, wireless, walk around the street, get on a bike, do a motorcycle ride, go on a Ferris, whatever the fuck I want to do, record it right to my phone, I hit a button, I send it to my Dropbox, my guy throws it up for my premium members. And it's like that. So technology, we're there. Yeah, it's not the technology, what's going to cost you on all this stuff is labor. Yes. Yeah, but it's but labor. Specialization. Okay, first yeah. of all, I the greatest. I edit videos on my phone with You've my movie. You've learned the skill, yeah. yeah no, so no. I've but it, the skill. It, it, Apple, why Apple's great and apps are great. They make it idiot proof. Yes. They literally go just drag, drop, stupid title, duh, yeah. and you can put. This guy just did the. I'm getting the comics, uh, the comic of the year thing. I told you right. He goes, can you please send a video? So I took a video of me. I took their logo, added a title. Put it at the front of the end. I did cool. all on my phone within yeah. fucking ten minutes. Yeah. I sent it to him. He's like, "Hey, dude, dang, like, did you pay? Did you have some? You didn't have to go this far." I'm yeah, like, no, yeah. "I just did it on my phone." Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's a, technology's fucking nuts. I'm gonna shoot a show out of my shed by myself. You should. You're gonna shoot a show out of your shed. Out of my shed. Shoot a show to your shed. What are you doing? Shed. You doing tries and buys? I want to know. It's called Bobby's it's called, Buy Workout. <laughs> it's called the Clit Workout. I go. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the crazy thing. We can do it all ourselves now. Yeah. So, so the good thing is we can do it ourselves now. The bad thing, yeah. we have to do it all ourselves. Yes. Now. Yeah. There was a time yeah. where we could pitch an idea for a network uh. and they would have tons of money. Yeah. And they just go, yeah, Jim, make the show. But it, Bobby, make the show. Yeah. Now they're like, you, make though, it your fucking But now, show. if you're, if you do it right, you could have the Rycast Network on television. You know, so I was looking. Well, you and I were talking about the fall preview. I was yeah. going through more of those things. Yeah. Oh my god, I don't even know half the networks. The, can I say something right now? Yeah. We went from thirty-six shows on TV to I think six hundred. Yeah, it's crazy. You don't even know half the networks that yeah. are out there. So it, it, what blows my mind is the shows are out there. Yeah. For actors to get. Absolutely. I, I mean, it's fucking quadruple duple dupled. Mm. They're willing to risk it because it only takes remember, one show. Because remember ten years ago it was all reality shows. So there was no there was hardly yep. any work for actors. Yeah. So, yep. Very true. The 
TV is unbelievable right now. But it's that's movies, the crazy that's thing. Like, these networks will pop up, right? Because they know all it takes. AMC, when oh. we were fucking growing up, <laughs> I know. played that uh, Christmas Carol or stupid. Over and over and over and over again. again. They got one hit show, which yeah. was, what was it? Mad Men? Breaking Bad. Yeah. Breaking Bad. Breaking, well, before Breaking Bad, they even got Mad Men. No, Breaking Bad was before. Mad that Man. was before. Yes. Well, they hit Breaking I Bad believe. and then... They went on a tear of hit show after hit show oh, after hit. Yeah. But yeah. one fucking yeah. show will make a network. Yep. Yeah. So why not risk well, it? Well, FX, great example. They're like, Shield. what? Shield. Yeah. And then boom. And then and then rescue me. Yep. And, and then, then they had that comedy. The but one now you know kids. FX is F a thing. You can go to FX for yeah, but comedy's Pamela changed, Alden though. now. Shows yeah, but comedy's line. not, comedy's real life. Comedy's not comedy anymore. Mm. They want they want real life comedy. Mm. Mm. It has to be real. They don't care if how funny it is. They care if it has to mean something and say something and be funny. Mm. You Was know it what Atlanta, I mean? Atlanta's FX? Pam Pam shows. I, Pam I, shows good. Yeah, Pam's yeah. funny. She it's a funny show, but you have to, you know, you have to be into that. You have to watch it and be into that. You know, you can't be a, a teenager and be like, I get it. I no, don't it's think. For you adults. Have, yeah. It's just, that's and good. they don't give a fuck about ratings anymore. I mean, they NBC, ABC, them. CBS. You had to get a fucking ten million, you know, viewers. They don't give a fuck because you can't tell when somebody's going to watch it, right? And people just aren't watching. I actually think something's going to happen. Like you know how Trump won the election by appealing to to people who are maybe overlooked. Yeah, I think the same thing will happen with network TV. I think net. I think network TV is trying to go a little highbrow, like they're trying yes. to do like brunch shows and Hopefully. like fancy graphic yeah. designer show. And like yeah. I think a lot of the people who watched maybe the the Kevin James type show and like Roseanne and those kind of stuff, like yeah. they were looking at these shows like I don't relate to that. I don't eat brunch. I have yeah. a normal fucking job. Put something yeah. on brunch. that I relate to. You know what I mean? Like, well, you know, CBS still does your basic. And who who's the winning? Easy right now? at CBS. Yeah, they're well, a very easy show. Well, I'll tell you this, too, is that I think I was saying this to somebody. I think it was Quinn. I was like, we need to get the fucking millionaires out there. You know, like just get a couple fuck, not even billionaires to invest in us. <laughs> just give us the money. Let us make our own shit yeah, yeah. with our people. And we'll we'll make you your fucking millions back. Isn't that? And good? that could be yeah. a new. That, that was just, well. That, that was could Louis be delusional. Paradigm. Yeah, but that could be delusional. But what if I if I got a billionaire, say I got fucking uh, who, Elon Musk. Nah, but fuck him because he's very conservative. Elon, Let's, isn't he? No, no. I no. mean, not uh, very liberal. He's very liberal. He's he's more. Yeah, I, I don't think That's it's possible want. to be a billionaire. No, and no be you liberal. want a fucking you want a conservative. You want a guy. Every not, billionaire you, is a conservative. They will lie about it, but right. everyone is. Who, yeah, yeah we, who's the guy with the beard that's on fucking Instagram, shirtless all the time with guns? Dan Bilzerian. Get him. You're not a billionaire. Oh. Huh? He's not I, a billionaire. He's a millionaire, though. I don't know if you got enough money to make TV. <laughs> you got enough money for hookers to come shoot fucking blocks, but that is different when you're trying to make a TV. He could afford three key grips. That's it. <laughs> yeah, come on. Ah, yeah. oh, that's fucked up. He can afford a couple of beauties to sleep on a plane with him. <laughs> that's it. No, that's it. No, you don't. You want a conservative billionaire because you, you get a liberal, then they're gonna go. Well, you need a black guy. Yeah. And then, where's the Asian show? Okay. And you don't have this. Yeah, yeah. Whatever's yeah, funny is that. funny. Yeah. Fuck it. Whatever uh, you, you know, want to make. Is, you know, that's if they true. say there's too many white guys, too fucking bad. Yeah, you know what I mean? So you need. That's what you need. The funniest people. You know, those are the shows yeah. that are gonna be on. You're not gonna yeah, worry we get about. Yeah, we get a fucking conservative. We get Trump. Trump just fucking gives us... He's a billionaire. Trump TV. Trump... <laughs> they were working on that, actually. That's, oh, yeah. That, that's if what he they lost, said. Uh, out, yeah. yeah, that was going to be a thing. I just, I, we I'm get a fucking... We get a, we get a conservative billionaire. We need two of them. We can't just have Trump. Because, right. look, he, he's a fucking numbskull. <laughs> we need somebody who has a little respect, right? <laughs> right. And, and Melania and, TV. You get a Coke brother. You get a Coke brother. <laughs> okay. We yeah. get the Fatitas. They're billionaires. Oh, the yeah. They, they're MMA fucking guys. great. Yeah. Sounds delicious. We get them. We get, we, we get Dana White. <laughs> Who's a millionaire? There you go, he's, Dana White. You know Dana White. Million, and we get them to give us fucking money. Yeah. We get to make whatever we want. You get a show. You get a show. You get. A, I get a show. It's like Oprah. What about um? You well, get a show. Let's say there's a. a uh, <laughs> <laughs> look under your seat. Eight episodes. Oh my god, I got a show. What'd you guys get? I wonder if there's a way to um, 
I wonder if the ways, there's a way to like induce that through the market. Like like you said, you're making a show in your shit, right? I'm, I'm, I'm learning how to, because of technology, because I can set up a three-camera shoot and one of the cameras has nine shots on it where I can just hit oh, a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hit a button and yeah. have a... Sh but I had to learn lighting. I had to do the work. Yeah, I had to yeah. do all stuff. And we, I'm still, we're still working on it. But I can, you know, I can invite you let's, up to my shed. And then let's, and we can we'll, make a show. What so if, we make a show, okay. let's say, right? Yeah, Hypothetically. Yeah. Yes. We make a show. And if you believe that there is an audience out there for it, you just need to make it hit that audience. Once it hits the audience and proves that there's... This is something I've realized about Hollywood. Yes. Hollywood isn't open-minded. They are very prejudiced, but they're just prejudiced to profit. They're not willing, you know what I'm saying? Like, all they want to do is make, they're a second, yeah, right? Like, yeah. there's a lot of hip-hop shows out right now. Yeah. That's because Empire worked, right? Yeah. So immediately every network was like, oh, Empire worked? All right, 50 Cent, you get power. Uh, FX, you do Atlanta. Uh, VH1 had one, Netflix had one. All you have to do is prove it works once, yeah. and then they all come sucking dick to yeah. get their version yeah. of it. Right? Yeah, what, what's your show going to be? I don't know. I got a billion, I got a billion <laughs> dollars. I got a show. You, whatever you want to do, what were you going to do, Jim? Pitch it to me. I don't. I don't know. Can I pitch you be? a show? I, you know what I like to do? I like to do a thing where I go to people's houses, people that post bad Facebook posts, <laughs> and, and, and fucking knock on their door and sit them down. <laughs> can I? Can I already? I already, I already I have like a five minute clip and sit them down and go. Why, why would you post it? Listen to me. <laughs> what, what, I already was, pitched uh, the show. Nature I like that. Mother Nature doesn't. What's fuck it called? You. You I already pitched it. I don't know what it's called. I already but pitched that's it. What it would be. Yeah, yeah. I already pitched it. I already pitched it. Okay. To who? Ralph Sutton. I don't know what you're saying right One now. One of the owners of Gas Digital, me and him. <laughs> Literally, three, I know, Ralph. I know Ralph. Yeah, three years okay. ago, we should do this show. This is what we do. I, I named it, too, called Troll Hunters. And we go out. Oh. We, Charlemagne has that show coming out on MTV. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. He, he, but he makes, it's like Catfish, only he makes them face each other. So the people who trolled him... They go see, but the, your show's different. Yours is just literally. It's not different at all. It's the same exact idea. Well, no, you're talking about bad Facebook posts. No, he's going to find them. Oh, whatever. Anything on social media, like a stupid right. post. Yeah, can I can I pitch you a show that I, I think just, would work? Wait, I'm the billionaire. Okay, you're the oh, billionaire. No, he's a billionaire want, too. But it's about him. We're both billionaires. No, it's, it's a show for him. Okay, then pitch it to it's me. It's a fake. <laughs> it's not a fake reality, but it's a pseudo reality show about, and you put yourself in it, but you interact with, and I think Brewer should be in it as well. But you guys. Where am inter I? What am I well, doing? You're the you're the big money guy. You're okay. getting on the money. Oh. So you interact. You have all these famous rock star friends, right? But they're aging, right? They're adults now, right? So people see rock stars on stage and they're fucking putting the, the furniture on the ceiling in yeah. hotels. They don't see the rock star at home when their nine year old kid is like, "Dad, I don't care. Dad, did you take my mascara? Dad, you know, like that <laughs> right. side of." And I think there's something really funny and likable. And yeah. you have to get them to sign on. You have to get the lead singer of Megadeth to sign on. You oh, got to get these guys. They did this with Skid Row. What about Gene Simmons? Remember they did that with Skid Row. They did no. that with they did so that. It's Gene Simmons to a certain extent, but you do you would add more rock because it was that was just about Gene. This right. you actually get these rock stars to have dinner together. It's the same thing they do with these fake oh, like reality Real shows on VH, yeah, okay. like Real Housewives. But you do it with rock stars, and it's more rooted in that. reality. I'm pretty sure if I had no, a, no, if the guy, I had a no, person the guy here to work Skid this Row, computer, it was four different guys in a band, Ted Nugent or whatever, and they all lived together. And they, they they created a band, but then the Osbournes and Gene Simmons did right. it basically in their house, right. seeing Gene day to day and Ozzy day to day. But I think that's a family you, one, this right? One, but if you do different ones, you go yeah. to the ground. Is he really bands. doing that fucking show? Yeah. Yeah, MTV, they filmed it, yeah. Should have fucking pitched it. That's the other thing. You Three could pitch years a show, ago, I pitched it. If people say no, it doesn't mean the show is bad. No, like, people said no to, to the the special I put out. I promise if you go watch it, the 16 minutes, I think I think you'll really enjoy it. That was a good plug. Thank that you. Was a 441, nice... YouTube.com. Wolf, that that was a show. fucking cool. good one. How about, I didn't even yeah. see it coming. That I was, was like, wow. Brought to you by Brooklinen. Speaking of good plugs, deepdiscount.com. Is uh, it's a loaded website with CDs, vinyls, Blu-rays, video games, and more. Uh, so go see for yourself. Deepdiscount.com. Just click their logo on my homepage. Riotcast.com slash Robert Kelly. Take a look. Right now, there's over 4,000 Blu-rays and 4K titles on sale at incredible prices. And the more you buy, the more you save. Okay? Just look for the special codes and sale icon. Stop watching and searching. Oh, for all the, I mean, you sit there and you're trying to, he's trying to find something to watch. Twenty minutes, you wind up watching some Steven Seagal movie you already saw halfway through. <laughs> oh, it's a nightmare. 
Just crappy quality or worse. You can't find anything. It's not. Instead, all these black shows. Just what's wrong with black shows? I love I'm just, black I'm just shows. Saying you, you said there was too that? many of them. He was I never said it that. Oh, I thought you were... Why would you say that? I was calling it you back. Did to say you say make TV great again. I did not you say did that. You did say that. And you I said I. You I said, said there's too many black shows. Are you crazy? All right. Why you would you make it. that up? Say that you made that up. You're going to be filming your own TV What I tell you, in the read, didn't Bobby. I say, in the read, yeah. let me, you know. You, Get through the thing. And he's got to bring up some awful oh, stuff. Oh, sorry. You're right. Okay, well, he wasn't well, here why, for Why does he have to apologize? Huh? Because yeah. he just made you're, a lie. Okay, but you're going to be filming your show in your shed. Yeah. In Westchester. Yes. No one's going to take that away from you. Yes. <laughs> and no one's, yeah. no one's going to buy us. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> shed show with Robert Kelly. <laughs> That's the name of it. Shed Show. Is it? Shed Show, yeah. Shed Show. I got this branding shit down, oh, guys. Christ. I'm with you. Know, you, you know Listen it wasn't, but when you said that, <laughs> I mean, that like, that's, that's she, what it is, yeah. She Show, she yeah. Show, she by the Shed face. Show. I really do think that there is a, a, a rock reality. Uh, we know. Full reality. Anyways, deep discount. You should look into, Jim. I'm just saying, just right. throwing it out there. I just wish I had out. your headphones on so you could hear me talking. I'm sorry. Deepdiscount.com. <laughs> I, 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 I can interview black uh, rock guys, too, right? Guys, wait a minute. would be the key. Bobby won't watch that episode. you got to keep Bobby. He's demo away, right? Black people in my demo. The black, though. I'm getting the black chicks. <laughs> listen. <laughs> All right, listen. Buy it right now. Go to deepdiscount.com. You can buy your DVDs and Blu-rays right now. Own it. Have it forever for your viewing leisure whenever you want. You'll find new releases, too, like the entire Ken Burns Vietnam, I got it right up on the screen right here. Yep. This thing right here, man, if you didn't see this. Did you see it on the first one? It's amazing, mm -hmm. okay? It's amazing. It's a, a documentary series on sale right now. You can own it before anybody else does. Oh, wow. Uh, before it finishes airing on PBS. Own it, watch it when you want, as often as you want. It, it, that's the best part. Over a decade in making, this exhausting and compelling documentary tells the story of the Vietnam War from the first-hand perspective of those who lived it. My father was in Vietnam. I wish I still talked to him. I get this for him. Vietnam POWs, journalists, diplomats, protesters, South Vietnam soldiers and civilians, and even enemy combatants are brought to life in over 16 hours on a 10-disc set. Get your copy now, Blu-ray or DVD, at a great price. Click logo found on my homepage, riotcast.com slash Robert Kelly. Support my sponsors and be good to yourself. Okay? Buy your favorites. Watch them when you want. Check it out now. Thank you, Deep Discount. Yeah, this is, I love this type of stuff. I love it. I love, I love when it's an epic fucking seven hours, ten hours. Yeah, I, I got to watch it. I, it. I have the first one. It You're right. There's only on PBS. To, literally up to week two or something like that. They're yeah, all because in now you can talk to the enemies. You know, you can talk to these old guys that were fucking just killing fucking mother, and you can be like, you can get their perspective because we're kind of friends now. No, yeah, they yeah. say they say they have. Uh, I read a lot about this, and they said that the. Um, you read a lot. Get out I, of here. Yeah, I read a lot. I'm kidding. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> I looking, read a lot about this show, and they said, right at your "I wish face. I was meaner, man, because <laughs> I was meaner." I wanted, right when you said, "I read a lot about it," that's great. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> no, they say they have so much. They have so it. much. Fun. I just snuck it in again. It sweet. It was a sweet <laughs> little <laughs> baby. <He's> so, <laughs> it's so much footage. They have so much amazing footage to back up what the history says. You know, like the the guy would come out and make a speech, and they actually show the footage now. It's amazing how much footage they have of the actual war. Yeah. It's like the most filmed war ever. So it's This is the first incredible. time they filmed war too, right? That was why it was a big uh, uh, this emotional reaction. As back it was home. happening, I yeah. think, yeah. Yeah, you couldn't control the um what is it called? The narrative. Mm hmm So they this is supposedly brilliant. You know? You know, the narrative. The narrative. The narrative. You know? Lenny. I think it's when you talk to Lenny. You the Jewish owned media. You know how we own these <laughs> That's things. That's why we're going to film everything from that shed, and it's going to be a documentary. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. It's gonna we're going to get Trump to, to give us the money yeah, yeah. <laughs> to, to support. I mean, I voted for him. It's I'll genius. say it. I'll say it proud. Did you vote for Trump? I didn't vote for anyone. Yeah, and you don't vote, right? I do, but no. I, didn't, uh, I didn't like either. Really? And if I was going to vote for Trump in New Jersey, he wasn't going to win, so... So let's Hillary's talk. Gonna, Hillary's going to win New Jersey. I, I just got to get. I got to get into this with you, because you're, you're you're divorced. Yeah, we all know the fucking story, right? I don't. He he. he Sorry. What? Uh, Does everybody know? Deal. 
Yeah, his wife fucking was, um, how do you say that politely? I'm not talking. Why aren't you talking? Just banging sound. another dude. Thanks, there you go. Jim. Thanks, Jim. Just being unfaithful. It's unfaithful. Unfaithful. Thank yeah. you. There you go. Banging. I love you. Goes banging another dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's basically what it was. It's yeah. just you can see the personalities in this room, <laughs> like with clarity. I'm not talking. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> banging another dude. It's not for me to say. It's for Jim to say. Lenny's just thinking, is that going to happen to me? Yeah. Probably. Never. Never. It's never going to happen. She settled for his hips. She's in for the long haul. <laughs> yeah. 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 These hips don't lie, my friends. Yeah. <laughs> she's she's into that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I know. Fuck. Like my wife will cheat on so me. So mean. She oh, did, that is fucked she did up. not she did <laughs> not come. Lenny's hit, Lenny has clown <laughs> hips. Come on. You do. Clown. You have that little you got some curve to you, bro. Lenny, I love you. I don't yeah. want to talk about it. No, Why? You let's do talk have, about it. I you do have two different bodies. You know that. Yeah. I did bizarre have you, you ever have, seen your, your upper half <laughs> yeah. should be on a little jewish boy at a baseball game <laughs> and your lower half is larry bird dude it's like work a lot more on the lower half yeah the, the a lot lower of half running is sturdy and you look at barry sobel's cartoon uh, oh man but you're uh, uh <laughs> <laughs> jim jimmy so you're try you, Bobby's twelve minute abs. Twelve minute fucking curls. I like curls. So just get to get yeah. the other one going. Yeah. Life, life yeah, try my twelve minute curl workout <laughs> for seventeen years. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Lenny? I'm doing the shed workout, honey. Let me just leave alone. How great would that be? This is what, if I did a, some type of YouTube workout off of somebody else's workout, and that's what made me big. Yep. Just like a million fat people all over the world, just selling out arenas. Yep. To like. Like if it's a fifteen thousand arena, it's only like six thousand because we're fat. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a great, that's a great way to sell. Oh, all the armrests are up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna take all the seating out. <laughs> Bring your own seat, fatty. I would love that. I would love oh, fat people. My people. Um, I think they are because I had a lot of chubby people that might like fans. I love my fucking chubby fans. There we go. There's nothing makes me happy when a chubby. Do you dude... think if, if if you lost all the weight would you? still have those fans yes because they can relate to that shit too, yeah right? they, they probably know. went through the ups and downs of the yeah, weight they, loss they know. but will they be envious that you lost the weight and they didn't no i mean i'd probably be inspirational to them it's the worst for me is that i've known fans that were fat and i was skinny and i they were like you inspired me to lose weight and then they went and lost all the weight and i just went the other way and they show up and like dude what happened you were my, <laughs> you were my inspiration now you're just a tub of shit again and then when you see them again and and they're fat, and it's like you, you tell you, it was like, if Bob can do it, <laughs> I got to pick one weight and just stay there for at least a good fucking 10, 20 years. Fuck it. Oprah didn't. Yeah, she, yeah she's a gazillionaire. There you go. But speaking of all this shit, you, you, you got divorced. I, I didn't want to, you got divorced, whatever. Now you've been single for how long? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. What are you doing with your fucking face, Lenny? Sorry. So wait, what are you do doing? Do you know the guy? No, I'm sorry. To... Andrew, no. hang, Andrew, hang on no. one second before yeah. you, Don't you side post the show. I'm sorry. SD okay. just texted me, so I wanted to make sure that was. It was his wife. Yeah. Lenny, when are you coming home? It was. No, no, no. She knows it I'm was here. She loves yeah. Bob. She doesn't care. It's like, Lenny, I can't talk to you on Thursday and Friday. So <laughs> we'll spend some time together. No, she was like, Lenny, can I borrow your I know. belt? <laughs> you know, can we go get something, we go get something to eat because we can't eat for two straight days? <laughs> That's not this How great, how great would it be if Lenny came home? With <laughs> Lenny came home one night after working the cell and he heard, <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> what is going on in there? <laughs> Honey, when you're done, please come out so we can talk about this. <laughs> Dude, so you've been single for two and a half years. Are you? Did you go back full on just fucking the way you used to fuck? Or are you dating chicks? Or are you, are you just banging? I mean, I got... Listen, my first girlfriend, she cheated on me. Okay? It, it killed me. It, this girl, I fucking loved her. I was writing poems in the library by myself. I wish I could find these poems. Before DeRosa shows? I was, <laughs> I, was, I was fucking, dude, I never felt anything in my, I couldn't imagine what you went through. I can't. I can't even imagine. But when I, when I got over it, once I got over it, I was fucking licking and flicking and sucking everything I could. I mean, That's any, the show. I fucking bleh, 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 whatever the fuck I could, anywhere I could. I didn't care the age. Size, color, didn't matter. I wanted it, and I did it. Did you go into that phase? 
Uh, are you, are you... Yeah, it took a little while. But yeah, as you get older, it's, you don't have the energy for it. When you're 20, you oh. could, you know. You can run around and yeah, bang yeah, three yeah. different chicks in one day, yeah, no problem, right. do all this, do <laughs> yeah. that. I'm like, look, I don't have to, you know, if you don't want to come over, it's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. So it, 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 You're it's, trying to get laid before 10. No, oh, whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, uh, but yeah, it wasn't as much, but definitely, it was just. Are you bringing that? You get the house to yourself. Yeah. That's your show, PM so, Dick. Uh-huh. Are you coming? Are you bringing ch- chicks back to the house? They, they've been there. The problem is, if I t- take a girl back from New York City and they see the house, they it's not that it's like a mansion or anything like that. It's a nice house, but yeah. they want to move it within two seconds to move it in. Mm-hmm. They've been they've been living in a shoebox for fucking twenty five years. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. That, as soon as they walk in, there, I can see them looking at the walls. I'm going to take that down. <laughs> this, this is coming down. Yeah, they're really fucking. You know, in the morning, let's go to Home yeah. Goods. I'm like, for so what? Sure. <laughs> I want to get, I wanna get you. A, I want to get you some shelves. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh um, my god. So, 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 you know, I get that, and so I'm like, I better not because. Yeah. Then they think we're dating too, and then like if I t- take them before I go to the train station, like they get, I go, let's go get breakfast, and then we get breakfast, and they go on a train going back to New York or whatever. You don't even. Then so they, you don't even drive them back in the city. No. <laughs> no. Wait a minute. For, how, for what? How far do you live? For what? How far do you live? Like thirty-five outside? minutes. Okay, so thirty-five about minutes, forty minutes, and you drop him off at the train like Keith Robinson with a new open micer. Who, <laughs> yeah. Yo, play. You gotta, you gotta drop you off at Philly, Holmes. Listen, I gotta go see my my kid. It's I only, love that. It's a two-hour train ride back. <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking him to, driving all the way back into the yeah. city next day. You never drove any chick. Was n- n- you never met a girl that was worth it? Like, oh my God, I'm I'm in. Have you met anybody since then? Where you're like, oh, I gotta stay away from this girl. I'm in, I'm in love with this girl. This no. is perfect. And there's not not one that that hot enough to drive her back into the city. Really? Yeah. I mean, no. a, a six is taking a train. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just the way it's going. Okay, down. wait a second. You know what I mean? So a six is taking a train. Yeah, a is that the name of this episode? It has to be. A six, a six is, is taking a train. A train. Right <laughs> Listen. Oh, so wait a minute. Oh. So a set. Like, I'd say same. I'd eight. almost ask for gas money on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> no, you pull up to a thing, be like, I forgot my wallet. Can yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, I don't have Easy Pass. I yeah. take it down. It's... Yeah, can you can you get me a coffee too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While you're in there, can you get me a Starbucks? Yeah. <laughs> And an egg McMuffin. Yeah, <laughs> she's an Easy Pass six. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> dude? Dude, what would you do with an eight, an eight, or a nine? Amtrak. Still train, still Am- train. Amtrak. Yeah, <laughs> well, not, faster um, train. Yeah, no, I don't. Maybe it depends. U- Uber, Uber. Would you Uber? No, because Uber would be probably Expensive. about probably about sixty yep. bucks. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm thinking. That's an Plus, they got to play the toll too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brec- What's the toll? Twenty. 16, 15, right? 15, 15 or something like yeah. that to get so in. So 15 at. bucks. So, an so Uber, about 75 would be an Uber. So it's right, yeah, 75 bucks back to the city. You wouldn't drop 70? I would if if, if she was going to take an Uber, yeah. If she ten, was, ten, she's a but 10. But, you, you know, girls that live in New York are used to the train, though, yeah. so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, so you're not some chick in St. Louis is going to be like, I'm going on a train? They don't want to go on a train. But right. <laughs> so, so, yeah, no problem. I got to fucking, you know. Right. So I got no problem with it. But I but I got to be, but even if I just take in the breakfast, like girls, like girlfriend, of mine like you can't take it to breakfast you got yeah. the wrong idea i'm like i just fucking we stopped got eggs you the train wasn't be, coming for 20 yeah, minutes yeah, yeah, you can't be but just gentleman. because of yeah. that yeah i'm they like i'm just that, being nice yeah yeah really yeah i mean you know but do you, I, yeah. do you find yourself look i'm just i there. got a gift card to that diner please. <laughs> 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 uh, jim's here again yeah. 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 <laughs> two number twos <laughs> you have a running tab listen yeah. go in <laughs> see gladys she knows all you have to do is say red dragon all right whatever you want is on me just go in and see. All you have to do is go in and see, see Lois and go. You can order whatever you want. He comes in and they punch his thing. <laughs> wow, <laughs> dude. So now, have you had a piece of ass that just blew you away? Because here's here. Because I've been married for ten years. You are okay? sounding like it. Well, <laughs> you are. Well, sounding like it. Just make us make some up if you have to. Here. <laughs> look, I, look, you're happy. You wanted this your whole life. <laughs> Am I right? No. You didn't want to be married? No. You didn't want to fucking just have... Dude, I've never seen somebody as in love as you. I love my wife. You I, do. I could cry looking at my wife. Yeah. He gets... Hi. Like... Hi. Oh. I just do it for show. But he... But we, we're in love. What do you want? I love it. I love that you're in love with her. It makes well, me so happy. Well, we always happy. do this. And I believe her, too. I go, I, I love you. And she goes, I, I, she goes, I love you. And I go, I love you more. She goes, no. 
and I believe her. It's like she is. <laughs> yeah, I'll hand it to her. Yeah. She beats me every time. My, She's I way lo- more convincing. I love my wife, but here's the deal: yeah. I love technology too. Yeah. And I love where, right. where sex has gone, yeah. technology-wise. Yeah, it's like blows me away that I could just spend hours in my hotel swiping, looking, hunting oh, yes, for yeah. somebody to come to my hotel. Yeah. just to match with some somebody as lonely as me. Yeah. come to my Hampton Inn and come up to my room and fucking just and fucking eat and and then all right, I'll see you later. And that, and that's crazy. <laughs> Wait, why'd you throw eat in there? Because we gotta eat. Yeah. <laughs> gonna don't, they're gonna get attached. I just told you, yeah. don't. No, no, don't no, feed them. No, don't no, feed them. No. Dude, my, the chicks that I'm going with, they're not gonna want to eat. They're gonna want to eat. I have to feed them. Her blood sugar is gonna fucking drop. <laughs> right. They eat every either, hour. Do I feed them or I call the fucking EMS to get this <laughs> diabetic fucking chub load out of there? <laughs> the rubber feet. <laughs> Bro, you seamlessly threw eat in there. <laughs> just come upstairs. I know. Eat. I do. <laughs> and just. <laughs> Oh I God. I don't know like it's I mean, cost Bob a fortune with breakfast. Look, if he buys it. <laughs> I've never been happier in my life, but I do look at like I mean it's sad. It sucks that what you went through, but you, I, I, you, do you want to get married again? Do you want to? Nah, probably not. Really, I wouldn't rule it out. But you loved being married. Yeah, yeah, I did absolutely. I wouldn't rule it out. Youngest girl since. Please have the word teen. Oh, we yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> please, please let it be. No, no, let it. Twenty four. 24. God bless, okay. sir. What is it? Don't leave me hanging here. Wow, you're on video. Your hand. Wow. Uh, 24. How old are you? Uh, Can you say? No, you don't say if you don't have yeah, to. Yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm 53. God bless. What? That's that's yeah. almost a 30 ball. A what? A 30 year difference. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They don't it? care. A 30 ball. So a they say ball? basketball when you yeah, score 30 points. That on this game. I won't say. Sorry, guys. But, but I remember one hip-hop. time. <laughs> was I doing the hip-hop thing again? <laughs> I remember one time. I was uh, probably like 33, and okay. this 18-year-old waitress at this comedy club. Yeah, yeah. And I was rapping with her afterwards. She goes, I'll come to your place in New Jersey, whatever. And yeah. we get, we were going to go, we're going to the store, like the shop right or whatever, buy snacks. She's 18. <laughs> I like so her we get out and we get out in the park. Did she get half moons? What'd she no, get? Well, she, no. So <laughs> really? It was about the, food, no, it was the food and the sex. And that was like popcorn. <laughs> she just wanted shit like that yeah, and like yeah. some chips. Yeah. yeah. So um, a Halloween costume. <laughs> we're in the park a lot, and she goes, "Okay." We get out of the car. She goes, "All right, let's race to the door to see who wins." And I'm like, "No, I'm, I'm not racing." She goes, "Come on." I go, "I'm not racing to the car." She's like, "What? Don't be such a baby." I'm like, oh, "You know what? She's 18 years old. I'm 32. I shouldn't be you're, here." So yeah. you race to the door. Absolutely. I fucking <laughs> I pulled a hamstring. <laughs> I was listed day to day for a week. <laughs> Dude. And then, and then we bought match. And then we bought the tattoos on the way out and the gumball machine. Yeah, yeah. Oh she's like, "Let's get God. tattoos." I'm uh, like, All right. So we bought tattoos. In the morning, gave her a juice box. And Bro, was, I'm 33. I had a 20 year old girl come over, and oh. um, I'm not as nice with technology as you are. Yeah. And this girl taught me how to use my my wand remote. What? You know the remotes that like you can go point at the TV and it will go to certain parts yeah. of a smart yeah, yeah. TV, whatever. I didn't have to make it not that. So for a year and a half, I'd been like wanding around to switch channels, and there was a, this girl sits down, and within a second, she's a boop, 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 and then she's just scrolling like it's a normal remote, and I gotta pretend like I know how to use it. Yeah, I'm like yeah, it's pretty cool. You can just do it. How'd you get it back to that setting? You know? Yeah. <laughs> she, know. Show right. me this again. Yeah, show me that setting <laughs> that you just did. It's you turn to old Jewish switch. guy. Yeah. Yeah. How do you, why do you, why do you, how do you do this? The youth these days are so good. <laughs> Dude, I remember. I, I was thinking the other day because I was I was at a red light today. And this girl, this group of girls walked by, but one of them, I don't know how old she was. She, her tummy was out. She, her skin was tan. Her hair was black. She was holding fries. <laughs> <laughs> they were outside of McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> perfect hold the pickles, hold the pickles. <laughs> She's walking across the street, and I, I, I just, I had to look away. Like inside me, what? because my I don't know what it was, some age thing or some yeah. more something that was instilled, some value that I might like. You know, Bobby, you shouldn't look at this anymore. Yeah. Look at look at the car across the street, because this is not for you. Like a voice in me yeah, yeah. was like, "Don't look," but I, it made me start thinking of like when I used to have when I used to bang chicks like that. Yeah, twenty one, twenty two. You know, fucking nineteen, 
And how, I mean, it was trouble. There was just so many words coming out of their mouths. Yeah. Just so much shit was being said. Yeah. That you had to, but back then I think, and there's, I used to talk just as much. Yeah. And then to get naked and their bodies were just. Bodies are incredible. Just, it's like, yep. God, it's like, it's like sculpted. Yep. Abs and butts and vaginas and nothing smelled and nothing flapped and yep. titties were, oh, I just, I started thinking of all these girls that I used to bang and. All that like going doing comedy. I remember I did I did a college once, and these two girls who <laughs> drove me there and drove me back mm -hmm. came to my room, and just sucked and licked the both and, of them. Oh, uh, and I just remember doing that, and you know, just it was just like, oh, if I knew that it was never, you know what I mean. If I knew back then that this was, you know what I mean, like this is gonna go away. It's a long light. <laughs> but look, what I'm saying all of a sudden is beeping. Oh, 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 sorry. I didn't. <laughs> but and, this, and stop looking yeah. at those chicks. I mean, you're there again. Like you're there now. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yep. But you're there again. You get to you get to do whatever. But you I want. wasn't planning on it. Like I was happily married, and I was like, oh, my career's over. I had a good career, you know. I'll take it. I was a borderline Hall of Famer, maybe. Yeah. He's Possibly. talking about Coxman, his Coxman. Coach. Possibly, but I'm like, whatever, I'm good. You know, I mean, that's totally almost like a guy that, you know, yeah. that's going to retire from sports. I'm like, I'm good. I did it, you know, and yeah. then and then I'm like, all right, I guess I'm back in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, it, you, you had to you you come you? back in. Oh, I rust? was rusty, man. I was, I was like I was, Randy Couture. Oh, it was yeah. brutal. I mean, I was like, <laughs> I had to call my ne my nephew. He was like 25. I'm like, dude, he's like, what? What's wrong with you? I'm like, I lost it. I was like Lou Gehrig looking at my hands in front of the ankles. <laughs> I fucking lost it. <laughs> it was fucking, you know. And he would, he would coach me through it. He goes, no, you don't do that. You don't do this. You had to relearn. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You had to relearn how to so get rusty. chicks. So rusty. Give me an example. Like you would just, just talk too much? Yeah, or just be being way too nice or whatever. And, you know, not making a move on a girl when I should have. Yeah. Right. You know all that stuff, and then and then with the dating apps too. He's like, no, you got to join this Tinder. You got to join. Did you do it? Yeah, he's like, you got to join this one, join this one, do wow. this, set this up, write it this in here. <laughs> that's your show. Don't meet them. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, your fucking show. You never take a girl an to dinner. An ex rocker. That's a show. An ex rocker who got fucking married, his whole life ripped out of his fucking hands. Got a cool son that loves him. Yep. More than fucking the wife. That's cool as shit. Yep. And he's got to relearn how to get puss again. Yeah, by your black nephew who teaches you. Not the why are you gonna add that? I'm adding some color to the <laughs> equation here. I thought we, we were doing make this. it diverse. <laughs> we were not. Okay. No, we're the we got a good idea here. No, we got a conservative billionaire, so we'll he doesn't have to put a black guy in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'll fuck a black chick in an episode. There I'll do go. that. Nice. There we go. Yeah, you like black chicks. I haven't had any in a while. You, had, you, yeah. you dated Robin. Yeah. No, I always like black women. Yeah, really? I, yeah, I mean, we look. always had black, Spanish. Yeah. See, I, I, a lot of Shit. Spanish girls like blonde hair, blue eyes. Had you know, so they they didn't like the. Um, I just wouldn't picture you with Robin. Like when I found out you were dating Robin Quivers, I was like, how the. F it, it made me like you more because it was so against your type that well, you think that Well, you what happened have... was we were on the air and we were just bullshitting. And I just got out of a relationship. She just got out of one. And, they, and Howard and Artie were there. And they're like, oh, Robin, you're single. I'm like, Jim, you're single. Hey, why don't you guys go out? And like, ha, 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 ha. 45 minutes of busting balls. She goes, I'll go on a date with you. Fine. Right. And then we just hung out. And we just go see each other like once a week or whatever. And then it turned into something a little more. Right. It didn't last that long. But, you know, so yeah. it wasn't like, oh, my God, I'm going to ask her out. I'm definitely going to, you know, and yeah. she wasn't thinking that either. Oh, I want to go out with him. She's just like, all right, you know, I'll go out with you. Because I was a regular on the show. She knew me for a while back, yeah. you know, so. And then, you know, oh, we're sort of hanging and shit. I'd was... date Robin. Oh, she was great, man. Yeah. She's a hottie. She's a little hottie. She's got a little. Well, plus also she wasn't, you know, texting every two seconds. Where are yeah. you? Who are you with? None of that bullshit. She was secure in herself where right. I didn't have to worry about that bullshit, you right. know. yeah, yeah. Well, who was on the show with you? There was a female on the show. You still you know, talk? Kind of stuff. You guys still talk? Not really. I mean, I text. I sent her in a couple of emails. How I saw is she? Her, I, I, it seems like she's okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, so now you, you have any prospects right now? Or are you just single? <laughs> no, I'm single. Yeah. My my son wants me to get a girlfriend. He's like, Dad, you got to get a girlfriend. I'm like, I, this I is. The, I mean, this is a show. I think it's. I, mean, right? I think it's really interesting because I think kid, that kid is mini. You got fifty percent of the people in oh, America yeah. that are divorced, right? 
So you got 50% of the, the dude or the married people in America. 50% of dudes are going to watch this show like, yo, I've done this exact same yeah. thing. I've asked my nephew to help me. How do I date again? Yeah. What the hell is going on? Yeah, but you got to be an ex-rocker, dude. You can't be... That's what he is. I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's, that's what he is. What are you yeah. going to fucking sing it for? That's what he is. <laughs> Listen, I talk with passion and emotion. <laughs> I Well, this is the show. I'm in. I'm in. Let's get it done. Let's get the billionaire. Lenny, me and Lenny are going to write it. You're going to sell it. I got you. And you're going to star in it. Call Chris Evans well, right now. Great. Chris, we got a show. Can I play your manager? How great would it be if Chris yeah. heard this and was like, I like the show. Let's do We're it. We're doing it. You Done. know, he could literally, if if Chris did that, he, that's the power I want. Well, if Imagine he's in that. It. You know how many people I would help? He, if he's in it. He, he, if I, I was, if I yeah. was, say I was that powerful right now. Yeah, yeah. I would take your fucking show. Yeah. Buddy, I'd take your, 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 your uh, what was it called again? Vendors. Oh, four for one. Four for one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And yeah. I'd fucking, I'd, I'd put it on, a, I'd do it. I'd make it so it was on TV. You. I appreciate it. I'd take you. this show. Yeah. I'd, I'd do it. We'd yeah. get it done. You'd be broke very yeah. soon. <laughs> well, it's, he let's says see he'd do it. Him, if I wouldn't put my money into it. I'd just use my clout to get gotcha. networks to help. Oh, you wouldn't put them out there. Well, let's see. Maybe the premium service will take off for you and you can fund our shows. I make some good money off of that. Well, I know you do. You know what? You don't have premium fans? Yeah, I do. How many you got? Seven? How many people in this room? I got 14. No, you know what? The premium thing, it's a good It's a. No, it is. Absolutely. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. But I'm also, there's other things we're researching too. Because we are trying, it's funny because you do want to make money. You got to make money off of these podcasts. You yeah. can't do this stuff. Or you want to do it. You got to do it for free. It's got to be available free for people. Right. Because you can't just say you have to buy it. I don't believe in that. But you have to give them the option to support you. Correct. Because your fans do want to support you. And they you. want to support you. And they you. do. Yep. And they do. Your fans do. Right. Or and, if, and if you, but then they, if they come to a show, they buy a ticket, or if they buy merchandise, that works too. Yep. Yeah, but you, yeah, come to a show, they should do all of it. No, that's, they should. I, well, and I think I think more people are buying stuff now. Yeah. You know, 10, 15 years ago, everyone used to steal it, wouldn't pay for it. Yeah. I think as people hit like, you know, early 30s, mid 30s, yeah. they're, set, they're starting to make some money. Like, ah, I'll pay it 10 bucks a month, or whatever, yep. and whatever it is. I'll buy this. I'll buy that. I know yeah. I used to steal because I had no money and I was an asshole, but yeah. I'll pay now. Yeah. It's yeah. no big deal. So you're yeah. getting more people to pay for stuff you now. Should, you just got to give them the yeah, option. I, I think it always should be free for people that can't or can't anymore. You know what I mean? You should you know, give it free. And the people, that, but you should always give them a little something extra for people more who want to. people wanna... will do it. I think yeah. more people will do the, eventually the, uh, yeah. what is it, paywall? Mm -hmm. I just think it's so new that, the I and there, people, people are so accustomed to free shit. People like, come up to me and say, "Dude, I'm a premium member," proudly because yeah. they know that they're supporting and it helps. Yeah, and I get I got to pay this fucking hump over here, this beautiful guy, <laughs> Zach, yeah, who is you know working his ass Hold off, Lauren. You know what I mean? We have fucking you know I got staff. You know this shit cost me a lot of money to fucking you know we. we Thank get God, this Chip Chipperson is carrying the network. He is fun. he killing it or what? Yeah. Chip, let me tell you something about this He's show. So huge. Oh my God! I can't believe how big it is. What 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 is he doing? He's Listen, killing he, it. He's, he's hit. I mean, people love it. Women, children, <laughs> men, it, all races, all creeds. Nobody. Yeah, everybody love loves Chip, Chip except for me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need to have an intervention podcast. My man. wife's favorite buddy, person on the network is Chip Chip. Oh, oh, really? By buddy, far. Like, by far. Buddy, he the show. I saw a clip. It was hilarious. But listen, yeah, Jim, yeah, yeah. Jim Norton puts a lot. This, this is not just a. He there's a lot of effort, effort. and work that goes into it. Yeah. Yeah, he's a vet. This he is, is. This is. He yeah. is a hard he's working elite guy. At this and field, he works. Yeah. He cares. I've never seen somebody care so much about the fans of this character. Yeah. This guy. He really every decision they're in on. Right. Whether they know it or not. Right. You know. So. You know. But you know. His, his, but in all seriousness, his, yeah. if he uh, he carries the network, when this show takes off and your show takes off and this show, and that elevates the Riotcast network to something, you somebody will pick it up as your far AMC. as like make yeah, your AMC. That's he, but he, he, Breaking Bad. No, absolutely. That's what, that's the whole foundation Goal. of this podcast yeah, I mean, network is that we would help comics, we'd all help each other, and then we could help each other at some point. Fucking, you know. Let's let's 
Yeah. Jim, let's get Jim a show. Let's get someone's gonna pop. Let's get Lenny a show. Let's exactly where if people it, will go, Oh, I love this guy, I love that guy, stuff like that. If it's generate uh, enough income and you could do the work yourself, you could film a pilot episode of Jim's thing and, and who look, knows I, who's I'll watching. tell you this. Jim is Jim is doing great, but he's not I mean, look, he says he's carrying he's not carrying the network at all. I'm, I was joking. I know, but I mean no but it, no because <laughs> it, I want to make sure that other shows get the credit that they, they deserve. They, the whole network, you gotta You know what I mean? Show. I mean yeah, yeah. Jim's show is a fucking killer. My show <laughs> what the does he Dante's do? show. Show is a fucking do? killer. What does he do uh, numbers wise? Can you share that? Or yeah, he seventeen does... people. <laughs> Let's put it this way: he got a hundred thousand views on a one on his uh, one of his videos on a on video. His, just one, just the video. So okay. he got incredible hundred thousand views on a video. He sold out the underground in like twelve minutes. Yeah, he literally sold it out in twelve minutes. <laughs> yeah, Unbelievable. He put it up. Yeah. He put it up. It was gone. Yeah. Just gone. It was amazing. Yeah. I mean, incredible. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's fucking ridiculous. It's a guy that doesn't exist. <laughs> well, I heard that he did the meet and greet after the show in character. Yes, but he did a, a fucking. He, it's hilarious. he did an Why hour. He you? did an hour and a half meet and <laughs> no, greet, I know, but... which is as long as the show, in character after the fucking. Yeah, it's crazy. I was there for the first well, forty minutes. It's as funny as anything I've ever seen. It's the, one of the funniest things I've ever. They and get I it. Hate it. They kind of play along the car. They get the character. They play along with it. They yeah. understand what's happening, and they still think it's. And hilarious. this is this is why Norton's great. The video of that night is being edited now, but he's giving it away for free. That's incredible to me. Why that's something you... where you could put behind a paywall. Yeah, why would? And you... that's where anybody would just rape the fans no, no, and right. just no, be like, give it, let it, and he, let and it go. Let and it he was like, you know what? No, just give it to him. Give it away because the fans do. Uh, you know, they, they they will. You know, I know that they'll support him and his you know crew and stuff like Furthermore, that. Furthermore, so. you want to grow it. Any yeah. any any like uh, charge impedes growth, yeah. right? If you give it away for free, yeah. hey, you got to check this out. Share it. Share it. Share it. Yep. Hmm. All right, we're gonna wrap this up, guys. Uh, fucking great! I mean, really great show. Yeah, this was fun. I, uh, Jim, thanks for coming. Will you come on again, dude? Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> what do you mean, dude? You don't like it? Yeah, no, of course I will. You always do it on Tuesdays. Tuesday nights, but yeah. I do. I either do the afternoons, but the night ones I'd invite you to. Yeah. The night ones are better for you, right? Yeah. Jim's like a night guy. I don't think I've ever seen you in the morning. You know I'm friends with really good Sully. I'm up at 7 in the morning. With no, but I mean, I just feel like you're in your element until, I would say, nighttime. You know I'm really good friends with Sully yeah. from Godsmack. He's great. He is fucking a great guy. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's one of those rockers, those famous people that I have no... He's just a regular dude. Yeah. He shows up at my show like eight deep when I'm in Boston. Really? Oh, eight deep. Just fucking right up front. Love that guy. He's awesome. Nice. Um, all right, Jim Florentine, uh, September 22nd and 23rd, Uncle Vinny's. Uh, September 29th, you're going to be at Ventura Harbor Comedy Club, Ventura, California, with Kate fucking whoever. Quigley. Who's that? Is she Australian? She's hot. Is she? Oh! oh yeah. uh -oh. No, I'm just saying, no. I she's know a, what you're she's saying. a female comic from L.A. Yeah, she's from hot. LA. Yeah. She hot. Yeah. Super hot. I, oh, I think I heard about her. Very she's funny really too. funny, yeah. yeah. I heard about that. Uh, October 6th and 7th, Rising Star Casino. Where the fuck is that? It's outside of, uh, like, Cincinnati, like 20 minutes outside of Cincinnati. All right, great. Well, you got a bunch of dates on here. Yeah. Go to JimFlorentine.com. It's, 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 I got the house tour. <laughs> is, that the, is that really the yeah, name of name, it? Yeah, scroll all the way up to the top. You'll see the poster. Yeah, it's, that's it. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you're talking about getting divorced. Uh, Are you talking about no, I, I talked. I've talked about it. Is it okay? Is it legal to do that? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can do whatever I want. Wow, that's, that's great. As you that said. the worst thing in the world for somebody to get divorced to a comic, because you know they're just gonna have another, <laughs> a whole hour of what a fucking twat yeah. you are. Wow. <laughs> uh, all right, Andrew. And that's my book. Where is that's that? That's coming out in February. That's the cover of it. Everybody is awful. Dude, you're one of the funniest guys going, man. You, I mean, anytime I hear you on radio, it's you just, I mean, just your fucking take on shit is ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you. Ridiculous. Um, <laughs> except you. The Keith Everybody's and the girl like, people love Jim Florentine. Oh, what great. does that yeah. have to do with fucking anything? They just they 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 call me and tell me about his rants. I love Jim's rants. Are they on Ryancast? No. No. Oh. No, but I it's know. like I just said I love them, right? How yeah. much I love them, and then he goes, Who "Doesn't love Keith them? and the girl so he love?" Went up to your love? Hey, just on another. It's like what? That's like saying, that's like saying, you know, okay, 
I mean, right? Am I my, out of line? My Andrew? uncle in huh? Georgia they're, likes them. What? what? No, no, no. This, they're huge. They're, well, it's like it's about? like we're ending. No, the show. I know, I know they are. We're wrapping it up, and I'm like, yeah, I love you, dude. You're great. They're huge. You're the I'm saying. And then every, goes, I know the fans blue. specifically call me to tell me, you know have what? you ever listened to Jim Florentine? I'm like, yeah. He's amazing. Yeah, just, but why don't you just say you love him? Uh, why do you I've, gonna say he knows I love him? What are you talking about? I'm like his biggest fan. Why are you gonna say? Why does this some... always have to be a fight? Just say yeah. <laughs> why did? Why do you? Why can't you just say I? I think he's great. I think too. he's great too. That's like me saying, dude. I was talking to fucking. I'm, I can I dude, rescind I was, it? I was I talking to up. Keith Robinson, and he thinks you're great too. Mm. It's like what the fuck does that mean? I'm in hell. Why does it always have to be a fight? I know people who love him. I love him. You love him. Just say you love Andrew, him. Andrew, you love Jim? Yes. I've got this really cool Done. comedy project out right now. Thank God. It's, uh, it's on, uh, oh my God, Jesus Christ, you look like Mr. Rogers. <laughs> what is that? What is that picture, dude? It'd be clean cut. I don't know. I got to change it, I guess. All right. Uh, uh, where, is, where is this project? Is it on your videos? No, go to uh, just my homepage. Just right, the home. front homepage. There's a clip. Right here, right? Yeah. Brilliant idiots. And that podcast is huge. Yeah, we got a big one, man. That's it's huge. cool, man. It's been I, I started I started two other ones. What like, are they called? Uh one is called Wester Bros. Yeah. And I just have me and a couple of my like just douchebag friends. We talk about uh yeah. We talk about uh uh Game of Thrones, but like just like a very bro y <laughs> douchey take on uh on this nerd show. And now we're doing a couple other shows as well, Stranger Things and Right. I think we'll do Atlanta. And then I just started, we just started a, a sports podcast called Flagrant 2. So me, Akash Singh, and uh, a guy named Real Life Life Kaz, Kaz. And uh, so that comes on every uh, every Tuesday. That's great. Yeah. So over at Loudspeakers Network, check it out. I love it. You know, I really got into Barstool guys. They're yeah, great. They're good. I so can't fucking believe how great. They're I mean, that's doing a good pizza review thing. I can't, I will, I would watch that all day long. Yeah. They're pizza. killing it. When he goes uh, one bite, everybody knows the rules, and he takes seven bites. I fucking <laughs> every time it makes me happy. <laughs> one it. bite, everybody knows the rules. Yeah. Seven bites, they Go kill ahead. it. Yeah, and they, they're they're slid right in. Like you know, ESPN is like so politically correct, and like they're Boo. so politically everything right yeah. now. Barstool slid right in. They they don't give a fuck about politics. They dress a dog up in a Brady jersey, drinking Dunkin' Donuts, and people go fucking crazy. Yeah. They're just being unapologetically. No. Nope. And then the one trash and Roger Goodell and had those um, the towels opening day. Yeah. Yeah. With Goodell with the clown nose on, gave yeah. out to all the yeah. Patriot fans and waving them as Goodell's at the game. Yeah. So Barstool's yeah kicking ESPN's ass. Jesus yeah. Christ, they're fucking kicking ass. Because people who watch sports, they're fucking men. Like, we're guys. We're not offended by things, right? No. So I'm drawn to the people who are going to have a similar sentiment to me, and it's going to be these bar stories. Yeah, but I love the guy, too, because he's not a phony, the guy who does the pizza reviews, because he walks out of a place and goes, you know what? These people, they fucking... 15 minutes for a pizza, an hour and a half later, takes one bite, 0.9. <laughs> with tardiness and then he walks away and it's just like you know when you do a review of something everybody's like well you know it's nice yeah, I mean, the yeah, pizza's yeah. not that it's nope. a, i'd say a five but he's like Z because you were late oh funny guy <laughs> funny guys yeah, fuck with it. um so yeah you just get click there and then boom you right. watch it just this right here yeah, and I click, click it right and there, and there. let's see what the beginning sounds like Oh, you guys are trash. What is this? It's the this ad. ad. Oh, that's when you know it's doing good when you have ads. Oh, there yeah? We go. Yeah. You got audio? Oh, God. I got know. audio. But I'll do it. Yeah. Is this going to be bad for you? No, it's good. It's fun. It's just uh, actually turn it up. Yeah, it'll be good. But right. just, there's, you got to turn it up. To, oh, yeah, you can hear them. Thanks. That's the sound of the greatest comedy city in the world, New York City. Why is it the greatest? because it's normal for us to perform at four different clubs, do four different sets all in one single night. And that's exactly what I'm about to show you right now. This is not a comedy special. It's not a comedy documentary. This is a comedy experience. Welcome to the world of a New York comic. I hope you enjoy the fuck out of it. School shootings. Every one of these kids has said they shot up the school for the same reason. I'm not making this up. Every one of them has said they did it because they weren't getting any pussy. That's a fact. Now, shouldn't we appreciate the teachers that fuck the kids? All right, I'm going to say this right off the gate. You're a good-looking guy. Oh, thank you. What the fuck? This kid has just <laughs> looks 
shitting out of his face. <laughs> High cheekbones, <laughs> tall glass of water. Boy, too. Oh, thank you. You would have been a movie you. star back in the day. Thank you. The is pussy you must the be day. getting is fucking. Do you have a girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. I'm single. Ask, I'd like a girlfriend. You gotta wrap it. You're gonna get AIDS. You're something I've been, bad. I've been. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to wrap <laughs> no it. No straight up, male has ever got AIDS. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, that's what I'm saying. He's that good looking. He's fucking dudes. I'm getting both. Oh, we, okay, okay. I'm gonna say. Oh, he's, fucking, he's boning guys. He's got to go find. He's got to do that. He's that good looking. And it's not even gay. It's just sex to him. It's friction. This looks great. I'm gonna stay with the chicks for now. Now, I, I, can I give you one critique? Please, yeah, yeah. The uh, the the opening. You should have had somebody else do. That's you should have got. You should have had Charlemagne or somebody famous. Great call. Do the opening. Great call. Because that would have been that kind of that. Then it goes to you, and it's like. And you know, and just make it about you. Cool, yeah, yeah. Because you know, you talking about yourself is cool, but if you had that other voice, yeah. You know. I tried to talk about New York, not me, but yeah. I hear what you're saying. Like it yeah. would be, if it would add production value to have like a big fan. What's the guy. fourth club? Comedy Cell, Stand Up New York, New uh, York Comedy Club, and uh, Comic Strip. Oh, Comic Strip. Okay. Upper East, yeah. Is that where you, is that where the mediocre set was? Uh, it was it was okay. I, this is so short, so I just picked bits that like really that killed, right? Did, yeah. man, did well. Right, I mean, yeah. so here's the thing: some of these rooms, there's only 40, 50 people here. Yeah, you know, so it's, it's great. It's, yeah, you don't it, fucking it, it's love It's not it. just like four hundred people going. They don't yeah. know who I am. These Where people. Where is this guy with this shot right here? He's at the table. Yeah, but this this corner. But it's that cor that's all they pulled in. All the way pulled in. Oh, yeah. He's in the back of the room. Yeah. Looks great. Yeah. You weren't alive. You gotta be. Now, what is this shot on? Do you know? Like a uh, 4K. Okay. Yeah, it looks fantastic. So we got Alexis. All right, cut it off before I do stand up. Hey, thank you. Welcome. How you doing? I can't be watching. Hey, stop it, stop it, stop it. You're gonna go. It's so embarrassing watching comics watch you. That's a fucking joke. Comics watching a video of your set. Nope. Nope. Well, I'll throw. See, we would never do it. Nope. But it be, because we are so viscerally against it, I feel like uh, Me, we should check it out. Yeah, we uh, cry for an hour. Oh, that would be terrible. So because then you're, you're worst you worst YouTube tape, clip. You, you have a tape of show and you kill, and then you listen to it the next day. You're like, oh, I didn't do that good at all. No, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, I'm a sociopath. Oh, I did. I did pretty mediocre. I thought I was way better than the middle of it. <laughs> Actually, I wasn't. I watched uh, Norton's last special. My son wanted to watch because he knows uh, Jim. And my son is dying laughing at his jokes. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just watching, you know, and he's like, Dad, how come you're not laughing? I go, I go. He goes, you don't think it's funny? I go, no, I do. He's like, yeah, but you're not laughing like I am. I'm like, because I'm going, that that was good. Yeah. yeah. That was good. Like yeah. your joke about the school shooters were yeah. pussy. I'm like, that's a good yeah. joke. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's how we joke. laugh. Yeah, I know. Funny. So he was like, but you're not laughing like I am. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. We we have to do that. We have to bring comics in. It's the are you watch not, their thing. You and can't just, because you'll literally lose fans. If you you'll actually let fans know what a fucking just a sh fucking shallow hack we all are. <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't want to fucking do that. Why is it Lenny's website not coming up? His question. energy? <laughs> <laughs> no That's idea. the funniest thing about Misery Loves Company. Everybody thought <laughs> Lenny was the company. <laughs> <laughs> he, wa he wasn't. He was part of the misery. He was just a different misery. If you ever see Lenny get off stage, he is fucking sick of himself. <laughs> He's just bullshit. Um, you can come over here and do this. Um, he's gonna swing Doesn't over. Matter. I'll tell him I'll be here all weekend. All right, all right. It's Let's all forget good. it. Forget it. He's gonna be there. Where are you gonna be? This I'm gonna be at the cellar? comedy cellar all weekend. Yep. If you want to come down to that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at that nice Look web. That, did you make this website? Yes, I did. The go chip to podcast. go to calendar. Why do you have the chip podcast on here? Because he has me come on. It's it's a placeholder. If you know what I'm saying. I have you come on. Where's my fucking holder? It's a placeholder. Temporarily. Hello. What's that mean? Weren't you telling me we? Okay. Yeah, I gotta tell you this. <laughs> We're very excited to it. Like on Riotcast, we don't we don't just bring on shows. A lot of networks would just bring on whoever the fuck says, "Hey, can we?" Yeah, yeah. We only bring on shows. We, the shows we have were very thought out, right? And it, it's for a reason. Sure. We have a new show with Lenny coming out. Uh, <laughs> Lenny, Lenny, and Neil Brennan. <laughs> no. oh. Could you imagine if I did it with both brothers? Yeah. Oh my God! Neil, yeah. I didn't get that. Company, didn't company that talks about together. misery. <laughs> <laughs> with Neil, that would be legendary. Uh, oh. I am doing it with Anil. <laughs> Martin, you're fucking. <laughs> He's doing it with his friend Neil. It's called. 
It's called Four Corners Podcast. With Lenny okay. Marcus. With Lenny Marcus and Neil Potter. Potter. Oh, I know for, Neil. Yeah, yeah. He's the best. I'm not the best. He's the so best. So what's the podcast going to be Colin about? Colin Quinn's the best. It's okay. <laughs> Neil's all right. What's the podcast going to be about? <laughs> it's four topics. We change topics every 15 minutes. That's it, the hour. I've listen. I've done the show. It's very quick. It's very fast, but it's it's you you literally get into these topics immediately, and you you know you. And then it bing, you go into the next. We topic. hit a bell, bing. In fifteen minutes, you get cut off. Boom. I mean, there listening to the show when you listen to it. Why? It, why is it? You've done it before. I've done it. Yeah. You know, we've have twenty in the can. We just waiting. Bobby wanted it, so we waited to release it. Oh, because it's evergreen. Yes. So it's not topical stuff. It ever so slightly, we'll get topical every once in a while, but you would in most ninety eight percent. That's is great for paywall, by the way. Yeah, because there's still value to the shows. Yes, yeah. His, yeah. his, his. I, I love, I love doing the show. You should do it. Have you had? Jim I would on? love that. Have no. you had Andrew on? I have a list of people we are trying to get to well, come on. Can we on. move these it. people to the top? Hey, yes, I would love you guys to come in. A little and bit do more influence. October, than we others, have we have those two know? days off, you know, and and four days off. We it's. Killing my September schedule, but uh, yeah, we'll October. figure it out. Yeah, of course I want Jim on. I uh, everything I want you, and Andrew, of course, Jesus Andrew. Jesus Christ, can we get you to like come? I in? don't have a successful but, you know, podcast <laughs> here. Like I'm not known in this space. I Goodness want gracious. every. Com- this is what the difference is. This is very inclusive. We want everybody, and not only comics, but we want all walks of life. You know, we'll get singers and like anybody can add value to this. It's just quick and opinionated. And at the end, we play. You know, like uh, our fourth corner is usually some sort of game or. Fun thing. We didn't do it with Bob because we had so much to talk about. But yeah. like Bob and I kind of created a game the other day um, about when we were going through the fall preview guide. And I said, uh, what do you think about these shows? And we just started talking about the shows. So we must have killed 45 minutes. We could yeah. do fun four feet. But I came up yeah, with a game okay. called, is this a show or is this not a show? Is this not a real show? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to play Star one? Trek. So the new Star Trek coming out. Show. Sure. Black. Uh, Black, uh, the lead is a black woman. Right. And he so, started cringing. And he was I, like, immediately, I immediately go, oh, fuck me. Political correctness. Captain Kirk, most iconic motherfucker ever. But what they did is, number one, they're making the show, I believe, serialized. So they're fighting the Klingons through the whole series. Right. Okay, which is real. It's not just flight. The Klingon is one episode, and the right. green people the next, and the right. fuzzy people. They're fighting, so it's more of a story arc, right. like a Game of Thrones, which is great. Right. They're using r- the space from like Battlestar Galactica, that fucking movie space on TV, which I love. Okay. I hate TV space. I like movie space okay. on TV. And she's not the captain. She's the first officer. So she's not the captain. Yeah. She's, they're not replacing Captain Kirk. They're, the story follows this first officer. Not saying that it's just like, you know, I hate when they go back in and fucking rewrite history. Yeah, yeah, I get to, what you're to, But this is actually a whole new concept, which I'm. I what think did I tell you, man? I think it's cool. Who watches TV? That's funny. <laughs> it's funny you say that. So anyway, we would do that. We would yeah. if we did this and so talked think, about the fall preview. Yeah. Bang! Next one, we're talking about water bottles. Who so you're gonna do it once a week. You Maybe already have twenty. We have twenty. We either do once a week or twice a week. We haven't worked out the details. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, whatever they want. We we can bang them out. It's so quick. Yeah. It's so it goes like this. Yeah, it's like candy. Don't it's tell like them that. that. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Work. No, no, no. When you're listening, it it sounds. Ah, fast. for the listener. The gotcha. listener. Yeah. Yeah. It really is when you listen because I listen to all you know the shows. I have to listen to all the shows every once in a while. I don't listen to them all. Did all you the hear time. me bad mouthing you last week? Did you really? What'd you say? You didn't hear it? No, I don't you listen to You said you listen to all the shows. <laughs> no, you didn't listen to me. You didn't hear what I said. What'd you say? I, I listen to all the shows every once in a while because I have to hear right. what the content is and how they, but I don't listen to them all the time. Of course not. I, I listen to a few here and there. Uh, Nick DePaul's I listen to, but not all the time because I just don't have time. But I, I've his show, I, I some shows are long. My show is a long haul. This will last you the week, my show. Right. Because it's two hours. We're going from here to there. You can stop it. Go take a shit. Yeah, yeah. Go back. Listen to it tomorrow. Lenny's. This thing's you. You, you from front to back. You're Boom, done. You're done. done. And also, if you don't like the what we're talking about, just skip ahead 15, 15 minutes, minutes, and we got yeah. something else. So, can I play one with you? Yeah, go ahead. Real quick, play with Jim. All right, let's... all three, all three of you. Okay. All right. So this game is called New Show or Not New Show. Okay, for the fall. So is this a show that's going to be on TV right now in the fall or not fall? It's called Seal Team. Jason Hayes has given yes. his life to a Navy SEAL team. His life is in tatters. So his relationship, so is his relationship to his child. 
but as tough as Nails' mentality is starting to show cracks. Is that a show coming out this fall or not? Yes. Jim? Uh, no. Andrew? Yeah. yeah. Yes, that's a show that's going to be on CBS. So we would do games like this. How about I'll give you one more? Yeah. Okay. It's called Hot Date. Hit the bell. What's the bell for? Well, the bell is just to start the segment. The, the show is called Hot Date, the latest web series to successfully make a leap to TV, explore the idiocus, idiosyncrasies. No. What happens if you and forget the bell? relationship of a dating. <laughs> like if you're doing it in your hotel room and you forget Just the listen bell. to this show. Tell me if this is going to be a no, show. Not a show. The latest web series to make it to the leap to TV. Explore the relationships of dating and stars Emily Axford and Brian K. Murphy, a.k.a. Murph. No. Jim? Uh, no. Bob? Jim did <laughs> where did you no, say? I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I hear shut it. down. I say no. Or something like that. What is that? That's I a true show. Is what, it really? Yes. What is hot TV? You ever hear of that? No. That no. was my point of this one. Yeah. The hot TV. It's a network that none of us have ever heard of, but there was a show on. What hot is the TV. point of your fucking miserable That's face it. on the front page of your website? What's the matter with that? Why are you so mad? I'm not mad. Bring, yeah. Can you please show that? It's sardonic. Please. It's not what. Okay. What I tell you about those words. <laughs> what I tell you about those words. Yeah. Is that what he looks like when he gets off stage? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. the That's fun. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Literally murdered. Just right. murdered at the Village Underground Saturday night. I murdered him. He walks right. off. That was all right. All right. <laughs> the fucking place is shaking. This is a great pick. Did you get this from when you worked for the Corcoran Group? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate that you. Everybody else used tour and you put calendar like it's 1992. Calendar, because it's legitimately a calendar. You should put your real shit that you have to do there. there like you go. your therapist. I told Jim. You should I actually put your meetings. I love that you're. Ha I wish the next photo was you on the pavement after this photo. <laughs> this is good. You look like Jewish Christian Bale. Thanks. Wait, this is a great photo. It's a man. great photo. You yeah, look great. Taken by uh, oh. Angela Sagi. You remember she used to work at the cellar. She's a great photographer. When did she take that? Uh, a couple years ago, years ago. Were you hanging on a ledge? Outside my apartment on the balcony. Oh, wow, that's a great photo. Okay, Lenny, where are you going to be? The comedy cellar. You could see it there all weekend. Is it this weekend right here? Okay. Stacked. So you're at the Comedy Cellar all weekend, Friday and Saturday yeah, nights. Snuck New York Comedy Club in there. Well. Um, yeah. All right. Strip um, on the ground, you can see. Lenny Marcus and his new uh, podcast, uh, Four Corners, is coming with, uh, to Riotcast very soon. We have another announcement to make on Riotcast too. We got a bunch of stuff. Uh, the Chip Show will be up live this week. His merch will be up this week for you guys to buy. Um, Jim Florentine's podcast is is one of the originals on the network. And I think one of the fucking, to me, as far as podcasts go, it's one of the original type of podcasts that it goes by quick, like you said, and it's, it's fucking interesting and shit. And you're one of the funniest guys out there, not just on stage, just personally, yeah, person your thanks. take on shit is just, how do fucking, you do it by yourself? Because he's a f certain people can Dude, are made to be it. by themselves. Yeah, if I could find something that just annoys me, I can go off on it. I could just figure it out. I'm like, all right, this will, this will. I'll just fucking riff. And Do you ever have any guests? Once in a while, but they I was don't, on. People don't like guests. Hmm. They want me to just, just rant, rant about different shit. I've had bands on. I've had other comics on. They don't like it. They won't even listen huh. to that one. What did so. you rant about last week? Um. Yeah, well, about like the moms at the bus stops. I got a kid, and they all got these fucking signs now. They hold up. What? My kid is going in the first grade. They have make them hold a sign, and then they post it on social media. My son Luke is going in the first grade, <laughs> and he wants to be and and they like an astronaut when he gets older. So they so then they post it on Facebook. My kid, look how big he's getting. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, yeah. So they all do that. So every year they post it. You know, kindergarten, first grade, second grade. Oh, boy. You know what I mean? So all the moms <laughs> at my bus stop were doing that. I'm the only dad out there because, you know, most of them dads are working. Do you run into that a so lot? They're all so I don't have so the friendly. Sign. I don't have the sign. Like, where's your sign? I go, I already know my kid's name. <laughs> Why would I have a sign? I know what grade, grade he's going. He was Do they in not like you? Last year. Yeah. No, they like me, but they, oh, you okay. know. Have they ever listened to your podcast? You trashing them? Probably not. No, they haven't. You sure? I, use, I usually wait a couple of weeks. That's why, because I figure if they're going to listen that week, I wonder if he's going to say anything. Then I put it on the following week, and they probably, they're not going to listen One of the greatest one. things ever, stories <laughs> ever, is fucking Jim social media smashing this fat fuck sitting next to him on a plane <laughs> and the guy was a fan yeah no. yeah yeah oh my tell the God. story well yeah because it was just when twitter came out too i think it was <laughs> and, I, and this guy was sitting next to me in the emergency exit and he was this huge fat guy and i'm just fucking bitching about him this fat guy he's looking at my arm like a mozzarella stick whatever I'm just saying a little stupid shit 
And he just told me, he goes, dude, I, I, I'm a fan. <laughs> oh, cool. And I, but at first he said, I'm a fan. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> don't, but then, don't put it together. Right, I didn't put it together at first. <laughs> and then he said... Uh, Oh, my God. That is the greatest episode of any show ever. Yeah, and he's like, I follow you on Twitter, man. That, and I'm like, I, I go, dude, I'm just messing around. You know how it is. And uh, like, and, you know, yeah, 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 And then what he said. He's like, nah, it's, yeah, it's cool, man. I go, look, I just, you know how you, a comic, you oh make things God. bigger, you know, you overblow. And then we started talking for like about 10 minutes, and then when the plane came off, it was a six-hour flight. He Then it really sat in. You sunk into him what I did, and then there was just complete silence for six hours. Hold on. It was uh. before you took off. Before we took off. Because <laughs> that's when I had service on my phone. And I was fucking pounding him. I had like 10 fat jokes in a row. I was fucking pounding him. It's just fucking it's terrible. It's exactly. And he didn't say, he, like, he didn't look at me like this guy might greatest. know me. I had no idea. That is the just, greatest yeah. story ever. And then the rest of the, he was fucking miserable the rest of the flight. <laughs> Like, he's like, this fuck. <laughs> like, at first, like, nah, it's cool, man. Whenever we just started talking, you know, I saw you, yeah, whatever. And then, yeah. Ah, that's awesome. Oh, I didn't even get up to go to the bathroom the rest of the flight. I'm like, this, <laughs> this fat fuck's not going to let me get by anyway. <laughs> 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 All right, check it out. Um, I'm going to be, this weekend, I got this great live, you know what, dude, podcast. At, uh, you know what? I is fucking, this on, is this on I had is, fucking, I had, uh, you know, I want to bitch about a little bit. Is this on, on your calendar page? No, this is on my tours. <laughs> I don't. I didn't have. I, what is mine called? Tour you know dates. what? I'm a fan. Just so you know, I'm but a fan. I suck because my my web guy's a fucking jack fuck. He's he didn't change it to 2017. He left 2016. Mm. I gotta. Oh, it's fuck. almost 2018. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> He's had Buddy, that up there I don't want to talk about the whole it. fucking year. I don't want to fuck Spray paint about effect it. doesn't work with an eight. <laughs> fuck off. I got to talk to him. Jesus. That's what happens when your web guy he is. F uh, anyways. Um, Pizza party I, podcast. I'm going to just cut out the year and then you don't have to worry about ever changing it. I don't want to talk about it. Please. I'm Can, just telling you how to I, not avoid this. You know how to avoid it? Yeah. Get a fucking new web guy. Yeah. Mm. All right, listen. Yeah. So the Friday night, uh me Giannis Papas, Ian uh Ian fi fi Finance Finance. Finance. Yeah. Worst name ever. Yeah. Uh Pizza Party Podcast Federal Hill. This I, I was nervous about this gig. I was shitting my pants about this gig. I I'm like it's a pizza place. There's going to be kids. What did I get myself into? It's a mob. Some Italian guys going to fucking make me. I seen you on the thing. My daughter loves you. And I'm going to it's a great it's they took over a theater. That's why I love Rhode Island. Providence, Rhode Island, great place. is one of the greatest creative fucking towns okay. out there. They love arts. They love creativity. Yep. I love it. Food's great. Food's insane. Yep. So they have this. They they bought this movie theater, put a in a pizza place in it, and they have a back room with a stage and ev. So we're gonna do this great fucking pizza party podcast in the back of this thing. Uh, it's gonna be great. Your, YKW your podcast. My this podcast. Oh. Me, Giannis Papas, Chris Scopo, uh, Ian fi Finance, Finance, uh, and myself. And I think one of the owners, who's an Italian guy, is supposed to be have a character. It's gonna be a great time. It's this Friday night. The next uh, night, the twenty third in Boston, Somerville Theater. Uh, I'm I'm accepting Comic of the Year for the Boston Comedy Festival. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, that festival's going on, I believe. And then next week, I'm at Side Splitters, baby. I love Side Splitters. Love it. Going love it. November. I was just talking to who was I talking Oh, Sam Morrell went there. You know, he was like, oh, it's fucking, you know, they're just hecklers, they're drunk. I'm like, you know what? I love it. I, first of all, the guy uh, who runs it, the manager there, um, he, he, he don't fuck around. He knows the way I like the room, and he just fucking handles it. He doesn't let anybody fucking yap. Anybody says he shuts them the fuck down. Yeah, they do. They shut. Yeah, them I there. love it. Yeah. Side splitters. I'm sorry. I gotta see Mike Calter, which I love. Punchline Philly. After that, I'm all over the flake. Tacoma, Washington, the Treehouse, Laugh It Up, Poughkeepsie. Can't wait to do that room. I'm at the uh, ben I'm in the Bennington Art Center, uh, Center for Arts. I'm all over the fucking place. Go to my website, Robert Kelly Live. Dot com for all my dates. Check it out. I'm coming to San Diego. I'm going to fucking Timonium, fucking Maryland. I'm going to be in Vermont, Indianapolis, all over the place. Go to my website. Get tickets now. 
And thank you, all the premium members of this. I love you. Thank you for supporting this show for all these years. All the people that came out in Buffalo who listened to my podcast. The support is fucking unbelievable. I love you guys to death. Uh, I want to. Uh, we got two new uh, one-on-ones going up uh, for the premium members this week. Um, one's with Chad. I did one with Chad. Really good episode, and I did one with uh, John Ailes tonight, the actor that played uh, rehab in Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll. It's all about acting and auditioning because he's an actor, and he's, he's got uh, just a great take on how to book shit, how to get roles. Uh, you know, I know how to get certain roles, <laughs> dinner roles. What? Fat I got, a, I got a, um, a bonus podcast going up with uh, Chris Evans. <laughs> <laughs> he got back to me right away. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Really makes me sad. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to call him. Yay, call Captain him. America! <laughs> Who said that? I did. Oh my god, I thought there was a girl in the studio. <laughs> I literally thought that was a woman in this fucking studio. Jesus! Uh, I want to thank Lenny, Andrew. Yeah. Thank you, thank Jim. And good luck on Lenny's podcast. I'm excited. It's gonna be great. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait. Uh, and Zach, thanks so much. What do you got, Zach? Zach, the new guy. That is it. That's his, that's his name on Twitter. Perfect. He's kicking ass. This fucking kid's great. Nice. I love him. Uh, Thank so you that's so much it. for having me, man. Yeah, you guys got it. And make sure you get Andrew's uh, special out there. Check it out on his it's website. It's free. Watch it. Share it. I would love that. Thank All you. All right. You know what, dude? You've been listening to the YKWD podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.